So hi, maybe we wait another two, three minutes just for somebody coming. So yeah, everyone coming, just uh, welcome and thanks for coming. Thanks for hosting, Kenny. I think we're all very excited to make money while we go for walks around the block. <laughs> I mean, I'm so excited to see you guys in, especially you know, for all the Meta Purse, Fellows, Jake, so long never see you, Yashika. Yashika, I put you as a co-host or so. <laughs> Great to see you, Ken. Oh, so, so how's your, so how's your meditation? It's great. It's great. I'm in a noisy shopping center right now, so <laughs> keep my mic off. Don't want to bug you guys with all the rolling group cards and all that. And enjoy the session that you make for the meditation. It's so cool. So I think we we're going to start another two minutes. So just uh, get ready, man. Hi, Indulin Sauga. Hi. Well, the floor price is really go up so high. I'm so sorry we should host this earlier. <laughs> Louis, you thought this that six Solana, right, initially? Can't hear you. Sorry. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I, I, I. I think I saw someone post on my Twitter saying like they were walking their dog and earning like one two hundred dollars a day. It's like pretty cool. And I was thinking, okay, I want, I, I'm curious. I want to try to find out more. So when I downloaded the app, I, I saw that, okay, in order to participate, I need to pay six Solana for an NFT. So that was what pulled me back. So I thought, okay, never mind, just put it aside. Then the next thing I know, I start seeing you guys like posting stuff. And, and now I'm, I'm seeing like Kenny is like being so excited, like posting his achievements daily. I can see the groan in his face now. Like, I don't know how you survive, bro. It's like, you're, you are doing your business, you know, you're, you're uh, after your work and now you're back home teaching us. I mean, when do you actually rest? Now with this app, you, you still need to exercise, right? So it's yeah, really amazing. That's a good thing later I'll share. It's actually not, not run a lot. And we need a big shout out to Adi. Yeah. Uh, Adi is the one who, who guide me all this thing and he like share it very early. So he was like, what are you waiting for? I was like, what? It's like, okay. So yeah, I mean, yeah, time's up. Then maybe we just share and thanks for coming. So let's get ready. Okay, so today I'm going to share about how to start your Stefan journey. So uh, just in case for someone that I don't know here, I'm Ken here and I'm actually one of the Meta Purse uh, top crypto and NFT content creator. And this event today is actually for Meta Purse content creator. So we are like having some hangout, all this stuff, etc. So Adi is my coach. So later he will share some uh, FAQ because he's like much pro. I'm sharing all the basic and really, really appreciate his time, like coaching me and sharing me all the tips because it really, really need a lot of uh, time and effort, try and error and make sure you're doing the right things. If not like we cannot maximize the potential and earning. So that's the problem. So today, uh, also appreciate Daojen like sharing this uh, event space for us because uh, this Zoom we can host for a lot of people and no time limit. So yeah, without further ado, today we're gonna share about uh, some insight like how to start, how to buy, what is the earning simulator because end of the day, especially for me when I'm gonna start the project, how much can I earn to, you know, like compensate my time. So yeah. Then uh, what to take note when we involve this uh, move to earn Stefan project or maybe other projects. So also uh, for my coach, my buddy Adi, which is he's the one that just now I share that he shared me all these uh, tips and tricks. So it's everything that is information that he taught me. Maybe I'm not covering up much, but he, I'm definitely sure that he will share whatever things that I left out. So, and he will share his point of view. And of course, 
uh, end of the session, we'll have some FAQ for you guys to check it out. So let's go. So Stefan, I mean, just in case for somebody don't know about Stefan, so what is Stefan? What is Move to Earn? So this is the website uh, over here. Then maybe I run through a bit like why I think it's so good about uh, Stefan projects. Can you guys see my screen? Uh, wait, uh, let me share my screen. So this is the website of Stefan. So let me check here. And so this Stefan is actually a uh, move to earn. Like everybody we know about uh, play to earn. So play to earn and move to earn is a similar concept, but for sports wise, NFTs and crypto project is really amazing. Yeah, later also will share. So why it's so good about this uh, project is really uh, make me feel so excited. It's actually for their uh, roadmap, but we all know in this room, NFT is all about roadmap, but whatever you can execute is another thing. So one thing that what amazed me is uh, when I joined into the Discord, if I don't execute anything or make the activities, right, I get kicked out. So that means you can see their security on, on the Discord that they don't allow the bots to come in. You know, they're very careful. And everyone know that if you're going to start out this project, you need an activation code and everybody snatching the activation code. So it's not easy to go in. And as featured in a lot of uh, very popular site, not those like you pay money, you can get featured, all these Bloomberg, NASDAQ, MarketWatch, all these, these places, it's like you really need to have some reputation. So the team, uh, honestly, I don't know them, but they are not anonymous. That's, that's important that you can see and you can interact with them. They always, uh, you know, in the market, all these. So they have their very cool advisor team uh, with reputation and their backers. So for me, uh, we all know that like for Binance Launchpad, or even though for Solana Ventures, their launchpad is very rep reputable because they won't anyhow get and fund somebody inside. And so all these VCs and companies are really very strong as well, most of them. And yeah, that's about it. That why I think that uh, Stefan is a pretty good project that we should actually check it out. So that's about here. So how much can we earn? This is a very first question, especially for me. Myself, they're always, uh, you know, concerned that how much can we earn, you know, by doing this? Is it worth my time to do it? So this is the area that I can share. It's, this is a run simulator. Later, I'll walk you guys through and uh, we'll send you guys the link as well so that you all can see whether is it worth your time. So this is a uh, one sneakers, two energy. Uh, don't worry about the numbers because uh, this is just for info. So you remember one sneaker, two energy at this area. So when I do these slides, the floor price is still 12 to 13 Solana. But today, I think because of Coinbase launched the coin inside, now it's like almost 20 Solana or maybe more, okay? So uh, this is, if you have one sneakers, so this is your potential earning. So this one, you just take note on this 308 GFT coin. Yeah, so just, just read through, that's it. So one, uh, one GST right now is about $6.50 for my last check. So this is the amount of money that you can earn. So this number should be more. So this is three sneakers, four energy, and this is how much you can earn within 45 days. So in fact, you can earn even more because we can do breathing and minting. So I will touch on that. So how to get activation code? This is uh, the very key thing. And I really so appreciate that uh, Adi uh, give me the activation code. So when my friend need, I also pass it out. So where to get this uh, activation code? You can go to this website. You go to Discord. You just need to snatch. I believe Yashika have the skill to, to get it. So maybe she can uh, share, you know, when your guys need her to share you how to do. So, the tokenomics inside this, yeah. For the I just asked if you want me to tell it now. It's just ah, a one-liner thing. That is it. Yeah. So either I mean there are two groups. One is Telegram group and one is a Discord group. Uh, join. I I joined the tele uh, the Discord group and uh, there is a channel on the Discord group where you go for the activation codes. And the last message on that will be you know go all the way up and there'll be a link. That link gets activated um, 0 a.m. I think uh, Australian time, which is 6.30 p.m. Indian time. 
so i timed it accordingly 6:30 was the time i joined at 6:25 and i kept refreshing the screen every minute at 6:31 that moment came i refreshed the screen i got an activation code and that's all that's how it has to be done just be there 5 minutes before start refreshing the screens be proactive and as soon as it will launch you will be able to get one activation code for yourself that's how i did it easy so we'll go. Yeah, she can you might type inside the chat so that they can see then uh, maybe later on I can copy your your, your tips to you know sure. in the thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh sure, thank you. So okay, this I mean for this game, uh this move to earn these apps, there's two tokens. One is called GST, one is called GMT. Anybody is in crypto, you surely will see this logo on, on, on the screen over here called GMT. Is one of the top performance when everything is going down. So the last check is five dollar fifty cents. So and for now it's six dollars seventy two cents when for my last check. So what is the function of this GST? Is earn, level up on your NFTs, repair, mean or I call it breed. You know breed. We all know that it's actually uh two sneakers uh, make another one like make babies and transactions fee. So you know that there's very huge use case over here because they are they are not only burning, but they are using in the ecosystem. So that's why the price is high. So another is this called GMT. So GMT has limited supply. For me, I look at it, it's just like a AXS. And the last check, now is $4 if I'm not wrong. So you know, it's just like two days ago, it's like $3 plus. So the function over here that they just input that when you level up, you will need a GMT. To do level of 5, 10, 15, and 20. Transaction fee, and it's also a governance token. So the sneakers, here comes the things. Where to purchase Stefan sneakers? So really, really need to take note. For now, as for now, you can only buy from the apps, which is able to interact in the apps. If you buy on Solana chain or maybe like OpenSea right now, I'm not sure how you're going to interact. Uh Adi. Uh, currently cannot interact, right? Uh, I'll just recommend don't buy at OpenSea because from what I said, I've seen somewhere that they have an Adidas sneaker which is totally fake. So don't never buy at OpenSea because the only partnership is with ASICS and not Adidas. So what's happening now is that there are a lot of people who are trying to sell so-called fake NFTs which will never work on the app. So just avoid OpenSea. Just buy through the app will be better. Yeah, thanks, Adi. So Adi is my coach and my buddy over these sneakers. Yeah, because of him, then uh, I learned about all this. So, so for first of all, uh, you need to download the apps, and once you get the activation code, you need to link your Phantom Wallet to the apps. So this is how it looks like. Okay. Don't worry about the slides I will send to everyone, and you know, uh, you all can just download from from the link that I'll be sharing later on. So transfer the wallet to spending wallet. So at the beginning, when Adi told me, I really cannot imagine what do you mean by transfer to spending wallet. So meaning that when you have a Solana wallet, your money will be inside, for example, your Solana, your GST, your GMT, your USDC. All these are able to swap within the app. So it's very cool. So when we talk about here that you will know that they already have an internal transaction they can earn from there. So that is the wallet. So from wallet, you're going to transfer to spending wallet. So this spending wallet function is uh, a few. Number one is to buy a sneakers. Number two is to leveling up your sneakers. So this is how it looks like, okay? And check ROI. So this is the part that uh, I, I'm going to share later on. That this, this one just to let you guys to see. So every time when we go into a project, we want to see whether how much can we earn and make. So this is the part that uh, the simulator uh, given up by Stefan that you can actually play and plug the numbers. For example, you want to ROI how many days and at the same time that uh, how much you want to earn, uh, all these things that you're able to put inside. Or maybe when you're leveling up, what is the max and potential for you to maximize your income? So this is how it looks like over here that you can see, like just like I mentioned, when you're in this uh, website, these are the few things that you need to check. So this one I will walk through uh, with you guys later or maybe later Adi can share with you also. 
So how much that we are able to earn from, from these sneakers? So you need to take note the circle part that I mentioned here. So later I'll touch on, you just need to see how much can we earn. So this is a setting of three sneakers that 18.25 for 21 minutes, 17 minutes for 14, and 16, 20 minutes for 16 GSD. So GSD 16 times uh, $6 plus right now. So this is the amount that you're earning. And this is, if you have one sneakers, this is the amount that you are earning. So you see there's a different variation, different level and different speed, you will affect uh, the earning, uh, earning income. And later I'll touch on the earning is just, uh, what I'll say is uh, before we deduct the repair costs and other costs. So sneaker types, there's a few. One is called walker, jogger, runner and trainer. So these are the different areas that, uh, how much we will be earning like, Four GST, one energy spend. Five GST, one energy spend. So this is how it works that you're going to tabulate your earning. An energy system. So uh, everybody will think that, okay, how far can I run? Is it I run whole day, I can earn more? No, this game is actually, once you use up, it's an energy driven. Once you use up your energy, then you are not able to earn more than that. So for, for the system, it's actually that every 25, uh, every six hours will replenish 25% of the energy cap. So over here, the sneakers also play a part. How many sneakers that you hold will give you more energy to earn. So you see here, one sneakers, you have two energy. So your move time is 10 minutes. Three sneakers is four energy and 20 minutes. So this is uh, the, the numbers. But I don't see myself holding nine, running 45 minutes, I think I will die. Really, honestly, I cannot do so long. 30 minutes already, half of my life gone already. <laughs> so what to buy? So just now I talk about walker, jogger, runner, and trainer. So if you see here, the kilometer per hour, it's actually one to six. This is the speed. So four to 10, you can see the earnings is four and five. Six is runner, eight to 20. Trainer one to 20. So just for illustration, whoever never jog or monitor your, your numbers, jogger is the perfect one because uh, we are going to earn more money. Earn one, one GST more, but the speed, right, is slightly faster than the normal speed that we walk. But you sometimes you need to run a bit so you can keep up the momentum, okay? So just like I mentioned, every six hours we'll replenish. Every four energy will enter lucky draw. If five energy will double the rewards. So what do I mean by that? So when you do, because when you replenish every 25 minute, uh, 25 percent every uh, six hours. So some people like for me, just share my example that when I got one energy, I'm so energetic that okay, I should go and I should go and run now. Or maybe I got two energy or three energy, I I should go and run now. But after Adi sharing with me that. Actually, you do four energy, you're able to earn a lucky draw. This is called the loot box. So I think that it makes sense for us to do a, a, a structure that you know, I can continue to finish one shot as a block for four energies. So this four energy only applicable for whoever that have three and above sneakers, okay? So here comes the question that everybody's like thinking, is it buy one sneakers better or buy three sneakers is better? So I make an illustration. No matter one sneakers or three sneakers, the cost of repair and level up is fixed. So that means your income will be one of the main factor that you decide whether how much you want to earn. Reason why is because let's say for example, over here, Let's see here, like I make 20 uh, GST because I got three sneakers. If you have one sneakers, probably you'll be earning like eight or nine GST. But the repair costs 4.4. That means whether you are having one or three sneakers, your repair cost is fixed. I will explain later why. So leveling up is also fixed. Whether you got one, three or nine sneakers is fixed cost. So that is why over here, you need to take note that the fixed cost is the same. How you're going to earn more, it depends on how many sneakers that you're owning. So the perfect match over here, it's if you're going to buy, you just take note over here will do because I'll be sharing the details later. One jogger, 
that able to have two mean. Two mean that means these sneakers already breed before. So zero is the best, but of course this is the profit counting sneakers that we put. So this is the base sneakers. That means when you want to repair, level up, it will be based on this on my left. And the other two that you're going to buy, it will be runner because runner is cheaper because not everyone can run so fast consistently. So the breeding, it's best is zero mean because what you're going to do with these sneakers, there's a few function. Number one, it offer energy. So meaning that if you have three sneakers, you will earn extra two energy. That's why you need another two. And this is the so-called what we think that is best to collect from here. And the stats is doesn't matter. Later, I'll explain the stats as well. So this one we already clear from the fixed cost. And let's see about this one sneakers with two energy. This is the earning we'll be getting. So I'm not sure why it's so low over here. I think because of the energy, the repair is low or maybe his speed. So that's why it's like lower. So what is good to buy? Because when you look at the stats, these are the four elements. This is when you buy, you got to be very, very careful. Efficiency, luck, comfort, comfort and resilience. So take note on this three circle because this is the thing for you to determine whether it is a good uh, NFTs to buy. So these two left and right from you, you can see over here, it's uh, the point that we have when we're leveling up. So this is the original that I have for my purchase. So when you buy right, you're gonna see this is the naked and pure. So on the left here is the point that you add on. Okay, this one just read through. So we go through again here. So when you go to the NFT market, sometimes you will see, hey, this is 21. So this should be a good buy because the efficiently, efficiency is high, but you gotta press this base. Remember this button I mentioned? Base, efficiency, and resilience. Over here. Some people, when they lease on the marketplace, they will top up the energy, just like here. If I reserve, I can just add on. So when I add on, some newbie, they will get confused. They will just buy this. But however, when they go to the base, look at the efficiency, it's so low. That means you cannot maximize your earning and probably you will keep on repairing your shoe and you cannot have the maximum output. So this is very important when you buy. You gotta see if this ad you have a bar. You just need to press the base over here, and you will come out the true and original stats of these sneakers. So this is very important when you buy a sneakers. So this is how it looks like when you go into the 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 area that you click on filter. You will choose sneakers, and you can choose the shoe mean is it zero or seven. So this is how you look at it. So you just go and click the item and check the floor price and you can check whether is it uh, this is the correct one or maybe the suitable one that you want. So now the example here is Jogger. So over here, it's a uh, runner. So runner, we always want to try to find zero uh, mean so you can click and see. So any stats of runner, okay, sorry, scared a bit confused. For sneakers, you need to buy on high efficiency, okay? This is my example, you all can see. That means this is considered good because the total upright, uh, best is have 16 and above. So mine over here is almost 20. So my efficiency and reliance, anything better than this is good to buy. I think that's the, the key question. So for runner, it doesn't matter about the stats. As soon as you click, is zero mean is good to buy and the cheapest because the function of this uh sorry the function of this runner is zero mean and we are using it to breed for our own nfts okay if not clear maybe you'll take note later the faq we will answer that so this is the current price the last i screenshot i'm sorry ashika now it's 19 solana and 17. i think she gonna squeeze me can why can't you do earlier? So we saw OpenSea is 20 Solana for the floor price. Uh, so again, do not buy 
on OpenSea or any other platform, just buy in app because that's the thing that we want to interact in the app. So the shoe mean, okay, this is one of the key elements to make more money that you mean a shoe. So the more you mean the shoe uh, for the future, uh, they actually have a renting function without a sharing. So here is, the, here is the chart. I think this one is Abi, you created one, right? For the sticker meeting cost from the app. No, I think someone shared. So I just took it I and see. then. <laughs> so this is very good. Share. Currently it's lower, lower, right? For the minting or breeding. Uh, sorry, I think this is not really updated because there's even a newer one. Initially it was 200 GST. Then they switch to 120 GST plus 80 GMT. Then only today they change again to 80 GMT, sorry, 80 GST and 120 GMT. So if you notice the trend is that they are pushing more towards GMT. So they are shifting from a burning of more GST and now towards the burning of more GMT. Oh, so okay. over time they are always changing. So I think, yeah, now it's actually a newer one. So I think later on I might share with a new. You might share the new one to the rest of them. Okay, so uh, again, just in case like confused, there's two tokens. One is GST, one is GMT. So GMT is governance token, so they actually swing over to the main token. So it's good news. If you are not into this uh, move to earn or buying this NFT, buying the crypto to invest, I look at it, it will become like uh, AXS. I mean, if you all know X Infinity, AXS token. I think we'll really go to the moon. Okay, later after this, I'm gonna buy. So this is a very good, like just like I mentioned, normally for a runner and runner, when you mean right, you will get runner or but you have chances to get a jogger. So jogger is very expensive. And look at the stats over here. This is like the perfect stats, almost like <clears throat> almost 40. This is Adi Min, he, he breed one. So he just super lucky that he got beef like well, really can uh, cost a lot pricing on this stuff. So this is an opportunity and, and the possibility that you are able to get a good one. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Yeah. So for my, in my opinion that uh, we know all applications, like for example, Uber. Uber didn't make a single sense for many years, but why the app is still uh, value for money? Because when apps, application old days, as long as your app got a lot of users are using, that means uh, this is a very valuable company. Don't talk about, uh, you know, whether are we walk to earn or, or play to earn or maybe like move to earn. So my takeover here is social share by ID that just get ROI as fast as possible. You can mean to sell or maybe create more teams because when you mean you are able to the breeding, you can actually have an additional team. Or maybe you can stand by for the future because they have a renting process if you check on their website. So next time they meet like your friend wanted to walk, but they don't want to buy, you can just let them, you can rent it to them and they can earn 30% and you can earn 70%. So that's about it. Then um, for us, we actually create a, a mini Telegram group. Uh, this is the Telegram group you can join. So if any question that uh, we are free or maybe community member wanted to share, we can keep in touch over there. So you can follow me on my link tree, uh, Kenny TV, so that I can inform you guys more info. And yeah, that's about it. So here comes the FAQ time. So maybe do you guys, whoever wanted to raise your hand, then we can go one by one to share your questions. Hey guys, not a question, but I just wanted to thank Ken for sharing us this information. Ken has been so enthusiastic about this since day one. So really appreciate it, Ken. Thank you very much. Yeah, like I agree with 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 Al and uh, yeah, thanks Ken and thanks thanks to his mentor Adi for for getting this porch going really cool really cool um yeah do you know if this is compatible for iphone or is this only on android 
I think for both uh, Android and uh, iPhone, correct, Adi? Yeah, it's for both Android and iPhone. But just take note, I think they did update. So your Android must be of a latest, I think it's 10 and Android 8 and iOS 10 minimum. So for me, I just figured that you should just get the latest uh, operating system <laughs> to make sure that it works perfectly. Because ultimately, you need to rely on the GPS to get the maximum amount of GST, I guess. So, uh, Luis, you want to ask your question? Hey, thanks, Kenny. And uh, it's good saying that uh, Adi is uh, also doxing himself. You know, uh, I'm ashamed to say that I'm in Singapore, but I did not catch this wave. Um, I just want to ask, right? I am so excited that it's so infectious seeing the both of you like, like crushing it. And uh, are we too late to join the party or is it still okay? Like, because considering that now, you know, like uh, Yashika wanted to jump on the boat, but now, you know, the boat has sailed further and now it's like 20 Solana. And so the question is, is it still visible for us? Is it still okay for us to, to join this uh, platform? So kindly advice. Thanks, thanks guys. People and, and more, sorry, and one more thing, because I just came across today that, okay, uh, the starting price for this uh, step N, which is, uh, which is um, fantastic, is 20 Solana, but there's another one that's going to be launched on the Avalanche platform, which I think Kenny has been picking up on, it's called Step App, right, which I'm, I'm thinking that they might even start it out at maybe 4.5 Avalanche, so should, should we still start on Step N, but of course, early birds catch the worms also, right, maybe is it legit that for us also to start looking and preparing ourselves for step app as well? So uh, guys, please take over. Thanks. Before Adi reply, I want to say his quote is always start, good start from yesterday. <laughs> okay, back to you, the mic. Okay, so for this one, right, I would just say that now is always the best. It's still a good time because firstly, we need to look at the token. If you have this GNT and GST. Supposedly, if we look, we come back into XC. Uh, AXS is always more than SLP, correct? Which is, which makes sense because uh, AXS is a finite supply, but L SLP is the in-game token. It's supposed to be lesser. But if you see for GNT, it's the reverse. The GST, which is the in-game token, it actually about seven dollars now, while the GNT is actually lesser. So ideally, if you say it's too late. Or when the let's say the market is more developed, it'll be the opposite. So if I just based on the GNT and GST price alone, you are still early. Okay, so that's uh, one of the reason. Then the second reason is that we are still in bet we are still so called in beta phase. So that's the reason why the activation code is quite limited, right? So so eventually they will open it up to everyone, and there is no such thing as activation code. So when that happens, then you might say that, oh, maybe I'm late or maybe I'm not late in that sense. Okay, so that's the second reason. And the third reason is that the rental system is not up yet. And they are planning it in about September. Maybe early, we don't know yet, but ideally they are planning it for in September. So why I say the rental system, why, why, why do we need to wait until the rental system is this? Oh, I just personally feel that the moment rental system comes in, there'll be more people who want to cash out as much as possible. Because for rental, when the rental system come in, it's like the cost of entry is technically zero. But the good thing also for, if I'm not wrong, for the step, step and team, they are planning to make some changes for the rental system such that it's not totally free. But we don't know what's up yet. But at least we know that that day is a long way ahead. So if we base on the ROI of two months and September, we are, you still can afford to uh, get back your returns by then. Yeah, otherwise, is there any other reason? Oh, and uh, another reason is that, oh, the have for partnership with is ASIC. That's the fourth reason. So they recently launched a partnership with ASIC. So it's only the start. Uh, if I'm not wrong, they have a conversation with, uh, what do you call that, uh, Nike and Adidas. So the thing is, they are not going to partner with Nike and Adidas yet until they have a bigger DAU. Right now, I think it's about 300 to 400K. So no point they having conversation with them when they are still in the early stage. So once they maybe get about 1 million or 10 million, then we might see about 
partnership with Adidas or Nike. But for now, it's just basic because, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I guess, that, does that answer all of your question? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. Thanks, thanks for filling us in. But uh, what is your 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 take on um an upcoming new uh same platform on the Avalanche system, right? I, I'm I'm oh, curious to, okay. to hear from you. Oh yeah, well. okay. So the thing is for me is that I feel like for step end, okay, let me just go by the both side. Yeah. For step end, I feel like it's more stable, it's more mature now. I mean, I think in back then, if you want to go in and two months ago, you wouldn't want to go in because it's still possibly a high risk. You don't know whether it's going to be a rough foot or not. So if you go in now into step end. Especially, I feel like after they partner with ASIC, it's I feel with, I feel more confident that this is never gonna be a rock pool. No matter how Kenny can say earlier that oh they have this partnership and that I feel like there's a solid strength of confidence that this is a good project going forward. But if let's say now we talk about the other side, of course we can say that being an early starter reaps the highest benefit, but that comes with that risk of you never know what's gonna happen. So if let's say I would just say for you, just get in both. <laughs> Why not? You know, maybe you just can get a bit of both here, but for the other one, then you can see how it goes. So you just can play both sides, see how it goes from there. <laughs> so the way I see it is just high, maybe with step end, it's a bit uh, lesser risk, but a higher cost of entry. For the other one, will be maybe higher risk, but a lower cost of entry. So you just see how flexible you want. Or you can also talk about your risk appetite. If you're in a higher risk, go for the other one. Yeah, I, I totally agree for, for both to, to pass out, especially since you are moving, myself just go for both all this stuff. And I think the, the step the step app, it looks like uh, pretty cool for me. And especially if like early adopters, I think definitely will be benefit from that, especially people who cannot go in step in, then they probably want to go over there. But again, I think that because of the activation code that the entry barrier coins, so that's, that's one thing. It's just like, I mean, put it this way, like, for example, um, people say Solana is cheaper, but you don't see Solana NFT can overcome uh, Ethereum NFTs. It's just like whoever drive Mercedes or Audi or, or you know, BM, even though Proton Saga or like Toyota is cheaper, you won't see the whole world is using Toyota. I mean, that's, that's my take. So because of people are investing in it, so it's always like additional. So yeah, hope that answer. So Sujal, my Superman, do you want to share what's your question? <laughs> okay, so first of all, thank you so much, Kenny and Addy, for making this and uh, for sharing your knowledge. So I have a list of questions because I'm uh, using like Step and for like three or three to four last four days. And yeah, so my first question is like, uh, uh, like uh, it, it is better to, I can make more money in just uh, buying uh, two, two NFTs in one uh, one account or I should just uh, put uh, one NFT in one phone and one NFT in another phone uh, and use different, where I can make more money according to you. Okay, so for me personally, like if you just stick to one sneaker, you can mm -hmm. earn more. You, mm -hmm. I mean, I won't say you earn more, but it's like you want to level up, it takes a long time. But with three mm -hmm. sneakers, it gives you double energy. So the thing is, you only need one sneaker to earn. So how I always see it is that regardless of one sneaker, three sneaker, or nine sneaker, you only you only need one sneaker, one sneaker mm. which is level up as much as possible. So mm. if you split up to let's say two two account, one sneaker, one sneaker each, you need to oh. level up both sneaker. So if you level up both sneaker, you need to earn a lot. You need to earn GST to upgrade them and earn even more. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So of okay. course in the long run, so in the long run, you might level up both, but you're not getting in the required amount to speed up the process. So personally, if I feel like you want to have two accounts chat with your friends or your family, I would still say that you start on three so that you can double up your energy faster and you can live by having double energy, it will allow you to double up your speed to le level up to maybe 28 or 19, whichever you want. So at mm -hmm. the same time, by minting more sneakers, you will accumulate extra Solanas. So mm -hmm. as you accumulate enough Solanas, you can actually buy one more sneaker, which means that in mm -hmm. one account, you may have three sneakers, and the mm -hmm. other one, you may have one sneaker, but you will use your three, sne your three sneaker and one level up sneaker to mm -hmm. power both of them. So which is mm -hmm. actually what I'm doing now. For me now, I'm actually, I started out with one sneaker. 
Then after that, I level up with, I share or I have another account for my wife. So we started out with one sneaker for myself and one sneaker for my wife. Uh, mm. Eventually, I level up mine to three. So with that double energy, I help to power up both both of us our account eventually then until right now we have nice sneakers already so mm. that three and for me i feel like that three sneakers helps a lot to speed up the process okay so so the strategy i have is the i like your strategy but the strategy i have like for, for, first create account in one phone then a create account in second phone buy sneaker on, i already have one sneaker so i will use uh, i will buy a sneaker on second phone I will uh, keep, uh, I just uh, take this both sneaker. I will get like two more extra energy uh, on bo- uh, like both of uh, like on this phone energy and I will earn more on it. So I'm comparing the strategy of yours. Like you are buying three sneakers and here I'm buying two sneakers and getting four energy. And uh, there you are getting like four energies in buying three sneakers. Oh, no, because the thing is, if you have one energy, uh, I mean two sneakers and you speak to two account, you need to level them up. So the cost mm. of leveling up your sneaker is double. Mm. You get okay. what I mean? So, mm. so one person says that you will need for just to level up, I think to level 19, you need about 20 days or maybe 30 days. I, I, I need to work out the maths. But other, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say that you need to level up both. But eventually, you will need to, once you level up, it's just the it. <laughs> yeah, the cost of leveling up is actually quite expensive. So okay. that's why it's just better for you to just stick to one unless mm. you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got it. So, uh, the Kenny said the the the, the newbie will buy the, the not see the base. So I was that newbie that I don't I didn't see the base. So, like, uh, <laughs> do you have any uh, recommendation for me? Like, uh, my uh, efficiency and resilience is also six. Okay. So should I sell that? Uh, right now I'm on level nine. I'm going to get on level nine. So should I sell uh, that and buy a better one, okay. or should I just keep and make money from it? Okay, the thing is, if you have buy your first one, I think it's fine. You can just keep it. Because if you sell it, remember that when you sell it, there's a 6%, uh, what do you call that? They take 6% commission from your sale price. Okay. So, one, first thing, you will lose out on your 6% commission. And then the second thing, mm. whatever amount mm. whatever, whatever amount of GST you put into level up to 9, you won't get that. So, there's a way, we can call it a bit of depreciation. So, on top of your 6% uh, commission, cut from your commission, and... Mm. There's also considered the depreciation of your amount of GST invested. So, I mean, if you're thinking of it in the like one year, if you're planning to stick to that shoe for about one year, I will say sell. But mm. on the other hand, I think if you keep it up for three months, by then you'll be moving to an uncommon shoe. Maybe you mm. would upgrade to a better shoe. So maybe just stick to that for 19, until level 19, you keep it while you mm. accumulate and earn more. It depends mm-hmm. on your strategy also. If you plan to increase your sneakers, I would recommend uh, mm-hmm. just sticking to level 19 and then when you have enough, you can upgrade your shoe or change shoe. But if you're planning mm-hmm. to keep that shoe, that one, that main shoe all the way until for at least one year, maybe mm-hmm. you just take, bite the bullet, take the loss and get to, get a better shoe. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Thank you so much for that. And uh, according to you, which how many mint shoes we should buy? Like zero mint, one shoe or two mint according to you? So, the thing is, for me, when you start out, you getting mint zero is, is expensive. So, mm, yeah. to keep your cost as low as possible, you just get oh. a, a level mint two jogger. Because mint two jogger will always be cheaper, but just get something with good stats. Second shoes. Then the second, so the thing is with second, it's not about second, you need a second and third shoe. So, which means that you get mm. a runner, which is at min zero. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. thing is, you don't care about the, what do you call that? You don't care about their statistic. You, what you want is the min mm-hmm. zero. Min zero is most mm-hmm. important. Because with min zero, you mm-hmm. can start the minting process. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, the idea is, oh. so the idea is that when you have the min zero, you can start minting. Because uh-huh. if I'm not wrong now, let me calculate. Oh, so to le- the total cost of the minting process, okay, just to take note that to min a shoe, you need to level up to five. Okay, so for okay. level up to five, you need uh, 10 GMT and 20 GST. Right? Okay. So, mm. so, and also to mean, you need 80 GST now and 120 GMT. So the total cost mm. of each mean, I calculated at about 11.768 Solana. And uh, from mm. around now, the floor price is about 14.9. So which means that 
your net profit by selling off after minting is 14. So which means each time you mint and sell, you are supposed to get two Solana in profit, which is a lot. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that if you, if you keep, if you keep min and sell, min and sell, you should get about one to two mm. Solana per min. Once you have enough, mm. then you can start to change to a better shoe or you want to get more sneaker, yeah. whichever, whichever your strategy mm. that you want. Okay, okay, okay. That's what great. So uh, according to you, if we mint uh, uh, jogger and walker, uh, what will be oh. the... Uh, Okay. If we breed uh, jogger and walker, what would be the outcome? Okay. So when you want to mean runner, jogger, or walker, it depends on your risk appetite. You see. So for me, I have the low. I want the safest and surest way to make money. So I buy runner. So the reason why I buy a runner is first, is first thing the min zero is the cheapest, and mm-hmm. the difference between min zero and min two is the least. So if the margin between the min two and min zero is the least, if I flip for the floor price, it mm-hmm. will get me the biggest profit. Okay, so mm. if I suppose if I buy a jogger and I mean, I mean from let's say I buy a jogger mean zero and then I mean to mean two, the difference is larger. So technically, it actually it's up to my profit. But the positive thing about that is that, like I say, what if you get a jogger with good stats, you can use it. It's perfect. Uh, so no, my question is like, if you breed like walker and jogger shoes, what will be the outcome? Like oh, it will be a walk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me just share with you my example. So, uh, I have four runners. Mm-hmm. So, what happens is that when I breed from runner and runner, mm-hmm. I get a walker. But by the second mm-hmm. one, I breed uh, mm-hmm. same two, these two runner and runner, I get a jogger. Mm-hmm. So, okay. in the end, I breed, so in the end, I breed this walker and jogger. That's the perfect <laughs> situation because actually I'm upgrading, you see. So, I see runner mm-hmm. as, as the lowest, but I end up with a walker or a jogger. Either one is actually an upgrade from a runner. So, mm-hmm. the best thing is that from this walker, then I breed with this uh, walker and jogger. They have mm. equal chance of getting either a walker or a jogger. So mm. uh, the one that Kenny shared just now with the jogger, right? That's exactly what I get after I breed this walker and a jogger. I get a jogger. The mm. nine, the all the nice stats. Uh, this shoe. Mm. I breed. Mm. How I get this shoe is from a walker and a jogger. Then I oh, okay. get this chance of uh, another jogger. So that, that is the positive side. If you keep breeding a walker or a jogger instead of a runner, you get good shoes that you might actually use so for me when i get this shoe i straight away level up this one and the other one i'm planning to sell <laughs> yeah. okay okay thank you so much for all the answers yeah. uh, i think some people are waiting for more questions so i will keep uh, up later. No yeah uh suja I, that is really really a good question because i also asked ali for a few times so just in case for whoever that is uh, wanting to get in i just do some uh more layman on it because uh yeah, because I'm a bit slow. So just now what Adi was saying that is the runner that we buy. Why is this is the perfect uh area? Because this runner is the lowest price, and we don't even need to bother the stats, and we just go by the cheapest. By breeding this, you might be able to get a better one. So after that, you sell. When you sell, right, it doesn't mean that you sell at zero seven uh zero mean. You can continue to breed these two to like level one min or two min and you start it out. Because there's always newbie buy the wrong thing. <laughs> no, the thing is it's not that newbie buy the wrong thing. Sometimes like, you remember that some people they just want to buy a sneaker to increase their sneaker count. Okay. Yeah, so they, want energy, energy. so they just buy the cheapest one. So I'm always I always feel that buying the floor, selling around floor price, if it is profitable, it will always sell. No matter mm. what, no matter what stats it has, because just because somebody just want to get the energy extra. Yeah. yeah. So just just be careful when you mean zero, you don't just list out. You can list the one min or two min out. So yeah, that's the thing. And somehow back to the things that whether is it one or three is better. So back to these slides, it's uh when we talk about sorry, when we talk about the cost and income. It's whether you got one or you got three, actually the cost of leveling up and repair is fixed. So if you got three, actually you can earn even more and it's faster. So after that you breed, you can actually split your team. Like for example, just like I mentioned that if you got um, if you got three sneakers over here or nine sneakers, like for me, I don't, I don't see I can run 45 minutes, but breaking down three sneakers into three teams, I could have get yeah, uh, actually, that's exactly what I'm doing now. 
Yeah, for Suja, what you do on is the level, the one sneakers. So mm -hmm. although the two, you probably can get six, but because of the fixed cost and the fixed leveling up, it will make you go very slow. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 got it, got it. So, so, so I should, just I have one jogger, I should buy one walker, and I should mint the, then I will get the three sneakers, then I will get four energy, right? Yes, you need three sneakers, but... Um, whether buy walker or buy runner, it's uh, runner is is the best choice. Like, okay, you know? sorry, runner. I forgot. Yeah, runner. It's okay. Got also, it. keep on mix up jogger or runner also. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kenny. So, guys, any, yeah, anybody got any questions? Ask. Okay, Yashika, the mic is on you. Thank you. So, I mean, it's been very overwhelming. Uh, all these last half an hour of information is overwhelming. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Adi, for taking our time. And Sujil, great questions. Uh, you gave me an idea of what it would be after you get inside. So, I have a few questions. Before that, uh, Adi, can I ask you to repeat what you suggested, Sujil, with saying that, you know, you keep minting and you earn two Solanas and with that, you can buy more shoes. I quite mm. really didn't understand. Can you very, can you go a little okay. slow and make me understand what that is? Okay. Okay. So, okay. For me, the way I see that in this step and project is multi-level. Mm -hmm. The first important way of earning is actually to jog and get the GST per day. Okay. We got that covered. We just put it aside first. So, but the thing is, we, what we are focusing on now is the two runner. Mm. All right. So the two runner, this is actually, how would I put this? It's, this is just a way of trading, trading your way up. Mm. Okay. So the thing is, when you buy two, zero, seven min, in this case, mm. so when you meet, so for example, when you buy, but the problem is uh, zero min is expensive, but don't bother about the cost because there is always your initial cost. First, mm -hmm. you want to start this. You want to start this minting process. So just whatever the price is, is being sold, just take it as the initial cost price of it. Because uh, with two extra sneakers, you also get double energy. So that's the main part for the just for the early strategy, right? But with these two sneakers, you can start the minting process. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you want to start the, this minting process, you need to level it up to level five for both. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you want to level up. When you want to level up to five, we technically we can consider that as a cost of minting. Yeah. Right? So we need mm -hmm. to consider the cost of about 20 GST and 10 GMT just to level up to from zero to five. 20 okay. GST and, and 10 GMT. Hmm. The total costs from zero to level five. Okay. okay. So but the problem, but the problem is zero zero is quite hard for you to kick start the process. Because mm. ideally, what you want is a zero and a one. Okay. Okay. The reason why I want a zero and a one is because when I mean a zero and a one, the zero will, after minting, the zero will become one. Mm. And the, the one, one become... after you mint, will become a two. Two, yeah. So, mm. so your initial sneakers it will be a level one, will be at min one and min two, and it will produce a min zero, correct? Mm. Okay. So, what happens is that now you have three sneakers. So to make that profit, you will sell that it mean two sneakers. So what mm. do you have left? A one and zero, right? So yeah. which means that you are you are repeating this process each time. So after minting, you need to wait 48 hours. So mm. during that 48 hours, you can level up the min zero to level five. At the same time, if you have extra GST or extra time, you can level up your min sneakers. So this is what I mean by if you're on level one, your earning GST will be so little, it's so painful for you to level up that uh, mint sneaker and doing this uh, minting process. Okay. So does that answer your question? Or do you have anything else you want so, to clarify? So you mean to say if I have a level zero runner, uh, mint zero runner and a level, um, sorry, I'm talking about mint. Mint zero mint runner and one is a mm -hmm. one mint runner. I breed both. Uh, no, I level up. So it comes to one mint and two, uh, two mint, right? Okay. And so then just when we breed, that. we get zero. Correct, correct. Just take note that if let's say the min one, it should be already at level five. Mm. 
Because technically yeah. you need level five to min, right? So you just yes. need to focus on the yes. other one, the min zero. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. and then uh, when we breed it, it comes uh, the 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 product that comes out the third sneaker is a mint zero mm. uh, sneaker. Correct, correct, correct. And then yeah. Uh, yeah. you put twenty GST and ten GMT on level five. It that also can get to mint one. Cor- can you repeat your last sentence again? You said that again. Uh, the mint zero, the baby NFT huh? that we got, the third NFT, okay. the third sneaker is at mm-hmm. mint zero. Uh, it will go mm-hmm. to level five when we are twenty GST and ten GMT. It can be minted. It will become mint one now. It will be minted. Yeah, correct. It will be so the new sneaker from zero will become one. It will mint mm. with the min one to become a min two. So you are yeah. repeating the process all over again. So it's considered per- per- perpetual minting and it's profitable. Okay. Yeah. I, I, just to just to add on, just in case some other are confused. When we mm-hmm. talk about you have okay now look at the screen there is one and two, so mm-hmm. when we level up the jogger is the main thing that we repair and and level up only one, so these two the only thing that we do two things is number one we up to level five, because level five two then we are able to breed, and and you only need to pay for the min, so this one don't have to repair because when three together. We only repair one because this uh, one jogger that we're using act as a profit counting. The these two of runner is act as an offer energy. I mean, hope that clarifies also for the rest. So, are you trying to say that whatever we purchase in the two or three sneakers, one has to be a runner, or I mean, one runner is good strategy. At least one. Runner. Oh. Jogger. No, not, not one runner, one jogger. It depends also on your strategy because for some people, they might not be able to jog fast or like mm-hmm. if you are, uh, how say, my, like, you're just not fit enough, you want to brace walk fast enough. So for yeah. that kind of situation, maybe you can just get a walker also, it's fine. You may earn less, mm-hmm. but at least over time, it's less stressful for yourself. <laughs> as long as you're making money, it's fine, right? Yeah. yeah. As, so, as, so as, like, a non, yeah. as a as a non walker and non jogger and not doing exercise, <laughs> my speed is then slow. But jogger is good enough to earn extra one yeah. GST. It means I can yeah. earn like it motivates you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm, hui, hui, slow, really, I gotta run really. So yeah, yeah jogger yeah. is the perfect match. Okay, the reason why I trust Abby, guys, because Abby. It's very good in calculations when I know him on other industry, and he is a trader. So when everyone not sure about GMT, he's the one start trading it and long all the way from <laughs> one dollar plus to what. So he he trade for a living, and he now is at NUS. He's 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 uh doing his degree at uh, NUS for math. So. I trust his calculation and he already made, yeah. don't know when I can say, you know, these two months he made like around, is it more than 30,000 or what during this Stefan? Uh, yeah, correct. From, actually I started out with just 4,000, 5,000. Now I'm holding to more than 30,000. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Know, he's, he's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. I have a couple of questions remaining though. Uh, so when yeah, sure, go ahead. Eight to twenty kilometers per hour. So it literally means people who can run eight kilometers at mm. least for one hour. Exactly. The thing like that. Okay. If you have never run before, don't go for a runner. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if so I, only, it's okay. I have run before, and my speed is around six kilometer an hour or something. So yes. I think probably because I should go with a jogger. Personally, for me, so I feel like I could run. I can run, but the thing is, you need to run every day. Can you run every day? Uh, yeah, so because this, I use this train for marathon, so I can. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I so, think I can. Okay, okay. If you think you can, let's go back to the, the next session. So now, if let's say you are at three sneakers, maybe you can run um twenty minutes a day. But what if you have skill up and you are going to nice sneakers? Can you run forty five minutes every day? <laughs> so as you scale up, you are gaining more energy. You when you have more energy, you are running. You need to run more, more, more time, more a longer time to, like I think forty five minutes, and if you scale up to an uncommon, it'll be fifty minutes. So the biggest question is, can you, 
are, are you able to achieve that kind of running every, every single day? Yeah, so for me, that's why I just feel like in the long run, I guess a jogger will be fine for me. Even though a runner can and more, it's okay. I, I can't balance that much of a time. Okay, so um, you mean to say, when you say 45 minutes, it's 45 minutes in total, right? It's not 45 minutes mm. one oh, speaker. 45. Uh, in 45 minutes in a day because if I'm moving on to nice sneakers mm -hmm. I will have I will have I think 9 energy and 9 energy actually means 45 minutes of running of course I can speed up uh, 1 in the morning and 1 at night uh, mm -hmm. but yeah so it's up to you how you want to speed it up but for me I always like to take my run together if let's say I'm moving on to 45 minutes or mm -hmm. run the whole 45 minutes because by running more energy, I'll actually get more chances. It's a more like a sure thing that I will get a mystery box. The one that mm. uh, Ken mentioned earlier about the lucky mm. draw, right? At, mm. at night energy, it's almost a sure thing that you will get at least one every run. Mm. So, oh, but for that, we need nine sneakers, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. For me, for me, I'm always looking in the long run. So, whatever you do now will actually affect your future. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, so, I mean... So uh, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, Shika, so actually uh, three sneakers are able to do four energy, oh. then you are entitled to earn a lucky draw also. That's why I okay. watch out do four, and it's only 20 minutes. So again, uh, this move to earn is not like you walk whole day, you earn whole day. If really that's the case, I can assure you, you can see me running 12 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a bitch, man. Okay. So I think someone was asking how many shoes I own, right? So right now, I own... 11 shoes so, but the thing is these 11 shoes I, I'm only running I have 5 in my own account uh, my wife is running 3 sneak, using 3 sneakers also with 4 energy and the, the other 3 is actually my mom running that sneaker okay so this is something cool because I give it I just give it to her to run I just give her like about $30 per day but I will just level up I'll just level up my sneakers and then I think if once I've stopped leveling up, maybe we can share for the whole family. So just to share with you how much I'm earning per day with these nice sneakers, actually because I've, I've broken even, so whatever now, from now onwards, it's pure profit. I'm actually earning about 750 Singapore dollar per day. Because I split into three, three I have three, uh, three accounts with three sneakers each, a total of $750 Singapore dollars per day. Yeah. Hey, wait, Adi, that means total, Adi is right? earning $22,500 per month. Mm, yep, $270,000 a year. Okay, the, okay. The, the only reason this is happening because the developer didn't even expect that. Because from what was mentioned earlier, they want, they want the GST to be low, you see. They, they're actually expecting the GST to be about $2, $3. Mm. But the thing is, their burning, their burning mechanism is too strong, you see. So when they design this game, they are focusing more on burning of GST in the game, which is something that they learned from uh, XC. They discovered that XC doesn't have a strong burning mechanism in the game. Yeah. So, but the problem is because they are starting now, right? Then, because when you want to create new GST, people need to run. So when people run, they are creating new supply of GST. But the problem now is that people are so excited on leveling up, minting, that they are actually burning a lot of GST. So what's happening now in the ecosystem is that the number of GST being burned is way, way more than the number of GST being minted. So that's the reason why GST is going crazy from $2, $3, $4. I think earlier today, it, was, it even went up to $7. So I think they're going to fix it. And that's the reason why uh, for the minting, uh, when you mean the shoe, they actually move from 200 GST to 120 GST and 80 GMT. And just today, they shifted to 80 GST and 120 GMT. So if you notice what, they are, what the developer trying to do is that they are shifting the focus on burning GMT more now instead of GST, which is actually a good thing because if they burn more GMT, your GMT will go up and eventually the GST price will come down in that sense. So, but if the GST price will come down, the amount Eventually. in one day will be lesser, right? So, that means yeah. more time will be taken for the ROI. Correct. But 
the thing is we are still in beta. So that's, that's why I'm not so worried. So I'm still happy that in the next two months, I'll be, I'll probably be pulling at six or seven dollar for GST. So I'm just happy. It's a good thing. <laughs> I'm just lucky that the GST went up to seven. When I, when I was starting out, it was just at three dollars. The GST is three dollars. So basically my income just doubled because yeah. the GST doubled. So where exactly are you to, I mean, uh, cashing out this GST in the app itself? Yeah, so when I earn the GST uh, in the app, it will show you that oh, I have this amount of GST. So I just transfer to my wallet and then I can decide whatever I want. I, I either want to level up, to buy more sneakers or to manage or whatever I want. So the, what I like about this app is that it doesn't delay your withdrawal process. So and I think like some games, they have a delay in your, how say, your cash out. Yeah, so what I like is that they're quite open. The XC is uh, two weeks and one month. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so, two weeks. Yeah. That's a lot. So, I mean, uh, say for example, you have your GST coming in, uh, you cashed it out and you have, uh, you have used all the burning and everything is, all that is done. So, the remaining GST, you go to some uni swap, pancake swap sort of a stuff where you sell it for US dollars or, or how do you do that? Did you repeat it? Uh, so my question is, so mm -hmm. when you cash out the GST and you mm -hmm. have finished investing, I mean, reinvesting in the uh, mm -hmm. repairing and everything, what remains mm -hmm. the, the remaining GST, do you take it to pancake swap, uni swap or something like that to convert it oh, into no. US dollars? No, uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know how you guys cash out, but for me, when I cash out, I just transfer to my, because I'm in Singapore, so I, I can either cash out to crypto.com or Gemini, my Gemini account. That's where I cash out to my bank. It's Solana chain, Yashika. Yeah, uh, yeah, as long as it's on Solana chain. Solana. Okay, yeah. fine. Makes sense. Right. Uh, so uh, another question I had was that, uh, say for, uh, there are two types of sneaker, right? One is on Solana and one is on BNB. I saw the BNB mm. ones are more pricey because I think we those are, are the six ones. Okay. Correct, correct. So on BNB, oh, the thing is on BNB also there's some, there's not a six. So you need to take note on that. Uh, for example, if I'm not wrong, the a six sneakers is about four times. It's about four times of so, the one in Solana. So if let's say the base price is 15, I think on BNB is about equivalent to 60 Solana, right? <laughs> okay, but the thing you need to take note is that only the original one is ASIC. So if I have two ASIC sneaker and I mean them, the child will just be a normal. Mm. But it's, it'll be on BNB. It's still on BNB network, but it's not it'll be normal. ASIC sneaker. It'll just oh. be a normal sneaker. It doesn't have that special. Yeah. So if you want to buy ASIC, you can go ahead and buy it. But for a, like I said, also, for a newbie, you're just paying too much money for that. Yeah. Oh, I think someone is asking what's GST. So GST is like the in game to in game coin token, uh, it's called Green Satoshi, token. Green Satoshi token. If I'm not wrong, <laughs> yeah. So it's like similar to XC SLP. <laughs> no, it's not good service tax. <laughs> uh, in GST. this case, in this case, we are earning GST. We are not paying GST. Perfect. Um. So, uh, well, one simple question. So, for example, I am starting today. Uh, I should buy two sneakers because the third one will come out eventually when I mint it. So I buy two sneakers uh, and I can run for 45 minutes also in a day. But my uh, speed of running is say five to six kilometers per hour. Uh, what should I buy and what will be my ROI? Okay. So if you want to have about five to six kilometers, you are looking at a jogger. So... If you say you want to have two sneakers first and then you want to mean, you'll need to get, it'll be expensive. It will be an expensive start because if you want to mean a jogger, you need to get a mean one or mean zero, which is very expensive. And like what I advise to Ken, he will, I advise him to get a mean, mean a two mean jogger. So it's actually cheaper. You can just start earning it already. So then the other one would be two runner separately. Because when you are minting, you are not minting to get the sneaker. You are minting to make a profit. So that's yeah. the difference. If you, are, if you want to have two sneaker and to mint them and to have the third, it just means that you need to get, get two runner and the third one will be a runner and your main sneaker to earn is a runner, which is oh. not what you want, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so okay. that's the problem. 
But if you choose to a jogger and a runner, that will be expensive to start off with. Unless if you don't mind paying for that, then go ahead. Mm, I don't. I want to go in a very cost efficient way, in yeah. a way so, that so, I can make profit. So, correct, sooner. correct, correct. So for me, I always, I always feel like for someone starting starting this, just get the lowest cost first. Get the level up, level up your jogger. Get your because the thing is, you just want to level up your jogger to as high as possible. I think for about nineteen. I I also should share with Ken also. But he was asking me why should why should I level up to twenty nine? Because between nineteen and twenty eight, it starts to get less 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 efficient in the sense whereby the cost of upgrading to from nineteen to twenty is so high that it just doesn't make sense for you to level up. You can just stop at nineteen and keep. Making money and earning from there until you have enough, you can level up to whatever you want, and keep changing it. Yeah. But doesn't it say that at level thirty is when you will earn GMT? Hmm. Correct. Correct. So the thing is, that's 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 where my strategy is that the moment I hit level nineteen and I've earned enough, I will change a sneak. I will get another sneaker for my GMT. So the thing is, I will have two sneaker. Eventually, is that I will have two sneaker, one for GST and one for GMT. So that because okay. uh, when that happens, when the GMT comes, I can decide whether GMT is more profitable or GST is more profitable. So the moment I have, let's say, one GST at level nineteen, the one GST, one GMT at level nineteen, so I'll just focus on leveling up the GMT to level thirty to earn the GMT. Mm. So the moment that if, if if let's say for example let's give the scenario where GMT is more profitable, I will level up the GMT sneaker to level thirty, and then I will earn the GMT, right? Mm. So in the meanwhile, as I earn more, I will also level up. By then you are you'll be earning too much already, so you can level up your GST also to level thirty. So eventually, you will get one GST at level nineteen, one G GST one GMT at level nineteen, and you see which one is more profitable, then you level up. Either both of them concurrently or one by one is up to you. Because oh, by then you should by by then you should break even and everything else is profits. So you can choose to level up concurrently one by one or up to you. Yeah. yeah. Just to just to add on, just now Adi was saying that you see level nineteen. That that is why this simulator is very important to mm. know how to use. Honestly. If I give you the website, not everyone know how to use. I mean, at least for me, I'm so idiot. I spent ten minutes, cannot settle. I straight jump into a Zoom with Adi. So, like as you see, nineteen level, this is the amount that you earning. But if come to level twenty, right? Look at the curve, and you simulate now it's four thousand plus. When you put, it's actually wow. lesser by six hundred over dollars, and the curve is over here. So that's very okay. important that you are and you and you put it to level twenty. <laughs> three, three, so you level to the end, you earn even less. Yeah. So, so, so the idea is that when you are starting out, you want to take out your capital as fast as possible. So that's why nineteen is a good way for you to get your capital out, and then after that, anything you want. Interesting. So, uh, again, uh, what will be the strategy? Jogger, right? Not runner. We are taking a jogger. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we are taking three sneakers. We are not taking two. We are taking three, mm. and uh, one should be a jogger. What level? Mm. What mint? And uh, what should the other two be? And what will be the ROI? Over, over here, jogger two min, runner uh, zero min, any level as in any any step is okay. But jogger, you need to get a good strength. Okay. Alternatively, also if you have like a family that you can share account with, you can mm -hmm. at least the, at least when you have that three sneaker first, mm -hmm. you can also have another one sneaker. So you can have a three plus one. So for example, you have a brother or sister. You can mm -hmm. for yourself you get three sneaker, but your brother mm -hmm. you have level one. So that level one, she can just slowly level it up. But your three sneaker, you can use that three sneaker to push your returns faster. So at the moment when you have your Return faster with that three sneaker, then you can slowly get one more or two more. Then you have a three plus three. That's exactly what I did for when I started up. So I have one one, then I have three one. After that I have three three, then eventually I have three three one, then I have three three three. So now I have, actually I have yeah. Nine, totally. <laughs> so yeah, yeah correct. So if I'm I'm sure all of you guys have family or friends that you are close with, so you can help kind of share with them. It helps to level up together. 
Okay. Yeah, just to share initially, because I before my friend passed, because uh, I start this journey because of uh, one of my friends, he passed me $5,000 so that I can kickstart this journey so fast. If not, I actually plan to buy one and like uh, get somebody to breed together. That means we're going to have a baby, it's like three person share in a one account, that kind of things. So this also works as well. So yeah, and the okay. simulator, um, now, just now I wanted to share about this uh, simulator. It's uh, pretty important because uh, this is the way how you check your ROI and how you do your leveling up. So let's say, for example, when I, I just show a quick one. Can you, so can you, say can you a, also can you also guide oh. us how to buy? So do both things together. Go to the marketplace and choose a shoe for us so that we know how I, do we buy. I, I, cannot, I cannot share my screen or... Maybe Yashika, you can share your screen, then we can just do sure. an example together. Because we are the co-host, I put you as co-host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've shared. Now what where do I go? Do you connect to your computer? Hey, I mean your handphone. Oh, okay. You want to be through the phone? To your, to your mobile phone, yeah, correct. So you can okay, see whether okay, okay. the Okay, I'll, I'll just be back until you can discuss. Recording in progress. All right. So this website is very important that for you to see how you run your simulator and etc. So yeah, that's that's how you key on your base, all this stuff. Maybe Adi, do you want to share how to operate the whole stuff yeah. here? Yeah. You can uh, share your share your screen actually. Yeah. No, actually, folks. I think just want someone want to sh share oh, about anyone that. Anyone got a question? Sorry? I think I can share using my, yeah. my app. I'm not sure whether let me try. Yeah. But I can share. I, I forget how to use the phone to go in. So, uh, Luis, do you have activation code already? No, I haven't got the activation code yet. So Adi, I, do you got activation code? I think I'll leave to the last one. Okay. We will, we'll have activation code to the end. <laughs> uh -huh. So, so you have all the questions first. Okay. I logged in through my phone and yeah, Adi is showing. Yeah. Okay, Adi is sharing. Fine. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, by the I, way, I, by the way, I just can't. in case while well, Adi is still doing, like just now I mentioned over here, uh, to actually check out your sneakers, what? you just need to make sure you just need to make sure that it's a base efficiency. And you want to have an example to see whether is it good or bad. You just need to take this as an example. Oh. La. So the PDF I already put inside the chat, so you all can see. But if you all want to buy, not sure, don't buy it first. We can share inside the Telegram so that we can uh, share also. Because it's, it's really not easy. Sometimes you will miss out. Yeah. Adi, you want to take over? I can't because I, I can't share. That's why I oh. join inside. From yeah, Shika, you can share? Yeah. Mm. One second, I'll have to give myself those rights. Sharing screen. Okay, multiple participants can share. Admit. Adi, you're in and you'll be able to share. I'm also able to share. Uh, so if you're not able to let me know, I can share. Can you guys hear me? So while waiting, I really sell my asset just to get into this, this sneaker thing because I think you every day can make, but always uh, take note that because there's a repair cost and leveling up. So you gotta do a calculation very careful. If you want to buy, don't don't worry. Uh, just share inside the Telegram group. 
So we will give some, uh, you know, second opinion whether it's good to buy. But again, it's super fast. <laughs> Just like when Adi choose for me, I want to click, it's gone already. So that fast that is... It's like so just gone. So what fast. is how much? How much do you spend leveling up uh, and for the repair? Okay, so leveling up, it's it's like level one to two is one, then two, three, four, five. So when level five is ten GST, ten GMT. Mm -hmm. So because when we buy two min, it's already original five, uh, five leveling five. So mm -hmm. our focus is every day keep on leveling up, repair before you level up. So that is uh, the things that we can share uh, together. So because I go through all the things, it's, it's really very challenging, even though got somebody guiding me and I keep on spamming him. So he like, okay, okay. Then he repeat a few times. I also feel myself very annoying, but Adi still like share all this stuff. So Adi is sharing it. Okay, so back to awesome. the mic. Whose screen is this? It's uh, Adi's phone. Okay, can you can, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can, you can. can see your screen totally. Let's see what you have. <laughs> okay. Guys, so guys, finish. once you click on the left top button and you see the activation code, faster screenshot and key in, that's the activation code. <laughs> okay. One, two, <laughs> this is activation code, guys. <laughs> oh, there is one. <laughs> it there is, very is one nice other level. One six double nine double nine. No, one six five one nines and on one screen. nine. Oh my god. Congratulations <laughs> for people who got the activation code. <laughs> Can I That's ask, is there fast. any incentives for sharing um, activation oh, code? Oh, it's used. Who used it? Uh, mm -hmm. if Somebody used it the Activation code, if you give more, you, you will get faster, right? Is it, Ali? Uh, it's just that it, if you use 10 energies, then you get back your 21. Mm. Okay, it's used already. So, uh, Adi, you want to share what to buy? Hamza, mm -hmm. don't worry, I'll give you my, <laughs> my activation code. Because awesome. of Hamza, we have this space, so I got to give him priority. Awesome. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yep. yep. All right. Okay, so what's the question again? Just now, someone, someone was asking. You just show us what you buy, no? Oh, okay. actually, actually, guys, uh, don't worry. I already put the screenshot. So now is the process that you all can see, like what to buy and take note. So whatever things is here, I already screenshot. It's the same. So Adi, back to you. Okay. So just let me share with, with this account. My other speakers are in other accounts. So this is actually, I just have three. So like I shared earlier, I have one jogger. This is my main runner. I level up to level 19. And this is what I was saying about. I have two runners. One is at min zero and the other one is min one. So I'm just using this to keep on doing the minting cycle. Okay, so then after that, we see the bot bottom right. This is a... Mm. Okay. So mm. what you want is filter this to jogger. So right now, the cheapest one is about 16. So let's look at the first one. So this... Mm. Overall, if you see the overall is about 20 plus, it's good, looks good, but no, because it's more biased towards luck and comfort. So if you look at the efficiency and resilience, it's not that good, right? So no, mm. we don't want this. Mm. Yeah, this, nope, definitely nope. Yeah. Yeah, this also nope. Mm -hmm. This, no. See? So the problem with floor price is that it's just... Quite hard. Ah, this is what Ken was saying about it looks 23, it looks like a good one, but after you click oh. on the base, it's three, it's not a good. So some people they think oh 23 is good, but it's not because it's factored in after we have upgraded. Scam alert, mm. scam alert. <laughs> it's not about scam, you just need to know. Yeah, it's you need to, to me it's scam, like. they try to try to <laughs> walk, dig a hole and let people jump in. If you don't know, just click and go. So, it, same goes. This is not good. 
Yeah. So then, uh, oh okay, God. Right on this. We're already so come until sixteen. Quite, it's quite painful. Yeah, but sixteen is quite a fair. Yeah, not so bad. Eventually. Should we check see, min zero? So, or min two? Mm, but this is jogger. Uh, min two is always the cheapest, so it doesn't matter actually. Because sometimes you can have a min three. Hmm. Sorry, so Adi, is, just to check. Uh, so yeah. you're saying that two min. So since this is like a, a profit move, ma, mover, mm -hmm. we're not going to use this as a main thing. So if I use four, Correct. five, or six, it's okay, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, right. But it's just that if you have, have a choice between a min two and min three, you should always go for min two. Assuming um, that both same price and both have the same stats. Yeah, if can have zero, even best. That's why I keep <laughs> asking, Adi, how come I cannot get to uh, then? It makes sense yeah. why he mentioned. So if you can afford, I will go for zero min as well. So is it as I go down, I can't have, I can't find any good stats, is it? Oh my. Yeah. Mm. So it's quite, so you see how popular it is to have a good. Oh, okay. But okay, I'll show if it. Where is it? So okay. my friend actually okay. tried to, to swipe, he felt like almost. Half an hour, you didn't get a good stats. Wow. Mm. Okay, for example, like this one, I would say this is not so bad. Because your efficiency is about 5, your resilience is about 5. At least the total is 10. I just say this, this is quite distant. And the overall stats, if you just add up 5, 2, 3, 5, it's about 20. So it's just decent. Something good that you want is that the efficiency and resilience is more than 10. And the total, if you add them up, is about more than 25. So this is our less than 25, bro. Yeah, it's less than 25, but that's why I say this is just decent. If you still can't find anything else, this is just good enough to start. Yeah. But 16, 17 total is okay, right? 16, 17. Like the what total add up. The total uh, add up. For... Yeah, 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 correct, correct. So that's why I say it's just about decent. So what if possible you want to get above 20 for total? And efficiency and resilience more than 10. That would be a good one if you are lucky. But I'll just tell you that you might need to pay a bit of a premium to get that kind of sneaker. So I think eventually I will show you one that fits that criteria. Let me see. So wow. now my question is mint zero is profitable or yes. higher mints are profitable? Which one's profitable? Which one again? Can you repeat the uh, question? Which ones are more profitable? The mint, uh, the lesser the mints, uh, lesser mints or the higher mints? Like mint zero gives you more profit or mint two, mint three shoe gives more for, profit? As your mint sneaker, it doesn't matter because what, what, what helps in your earning is actually the efficiency and your resilience. The efficiency allows you to earn more GST while the resilience helps to lower your repair cost. The luck and comfort is just different factor that you need and now. stuff. Mm. Yeah, so, 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 so what, why does the mints matter? Yeah. See? When, when does the when is it that the mint matters? When is the mint? I can. When is the when is the mint important? Oh, why is the mint important? Uh, for as as your mint as your mint sneaker, the mint doesn't matter. But the thing is, a uh, mint zero will be expensive, while while a mint two and mint three will be close to the floor price. Is that your question? No, so his question. Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was just, I was just wondering, like, uh, why, 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 uh, why are mint zero and stuff more expensive? Just because it's yeah. more rare? Ah, oh, oh no, no, because if uh, the mint zero are more expensive, because it allow it allows you to do the what they call that the minting process to breed new sneakers, and and when you breed new sneakers and then you sell them back, you are actually making a profit. So that's why it's higher in demand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So because yeah. Each, each each sneaker can only do seven. So if they if they've already minted some, some of their minting potential is lost. Yeah, correct, correct. The the minting is actually breeding just in case. Ah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So so in this case, this shoe it's okay, good enough because the efficiency and resilience is about 10 plus and the total is about 20. And eventually, if you level it, level up high enough, if you want to switch to comfort, also you can uh, switch to comfort. Because if I'm not mistaken, the team will also implement a new GMT use case 
and but you can switch your upgraded stats from efficiency to comfort. So remember the earlier when I was sharing about how you will need to have one shoe for GST and one, one shoe for GMT. Mm -hmm. You can have a sneaker like this and then you just need to pay a cost and then you can switch your upgraded stats to another one. But it's not confirmed yet. It's still in the works. We, so I wouldn't want to commit on that based on because it's just not confirmed yet. That's, but that's what the developer are pushing for. So if you notice now the price is at 16.6 and I can't still I can't find any good one. No, that one is best for oh, oh, that is 15. No, that is only two. Okay. Yeah. Uh can you repeat your question again? No, no, no. I, I saw 115 and I got happy, but then I saw that when you shift to the base, it was only 2.8. So I yeah, so yeah, for example, like this, it looks good, but when I switch to base, it's just this. So yeah. if you notice now, the price is going at 16.7, when actually, uh, when the original price is at 15.8, you're actually paying one sold over. So that's why when I was choosing a shoe for Ken, I actually just choose a decent one for him, because at least it just, just to kickstart you, I think by now it's very, very hard to get a good sneaker with good stats. So like I said, that's why, you just get something decent to start off with and then hopefully over time you will get to mean something new and then you can just switch over yeah and then just oh, ask oh. what is the price of what's the ceiling price what, what are the best sneakers how much are they going for the best sneakers yeah. i want the best one the best one so you're talking about tray i guess you've got trainer and epic right and yeah oh oh there's no epic Okay, maybe there's no trainer epic. Yeah. So they go. Wow. This is the yeah. <laughs> eleven thousand yeah. six hundred dollars. Yeah. Go for it. You need a legendary sticker. Um just it's only one thousand, so it's it's too cheap. Not even eleven long. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh I I'm not even at this stage yet, so yeah. What stage are you at? Um, I'm still at common. Just for me, I'm focusing on common, but uh, more sneakers so that I can get more energies to earn more. Uh, because the problem with uncommon, okay, I, I'll just show you the next one. The problem with us with uncommon, we will have, it's about four times more expensive. But the problem is the runner is not that good. What I need is a jogger. So when you look at jogger, the price is about 60 so, about four times. If I'm paying four times for the uncommon shoe, I'd rather pay four times of shoe and I can get double or even four or five times of energy to earn more. Yeah. For me, that's what that's what I feel. Because for jogger, it's just for bragging rights. Like, oh, I have an uncommon. But in terms of earning, I'll go for more sneakers instead of uncommon shoe. Mm. So you're opening four positions with four sneakers? Is that what you're opening doing? Um, right now I'm having eleven sneakers, but I just split up the my I split up the three 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 because I share with three person. Yeah. Mm. Are these sneakers transferable? Let's just say I want to buy it for someone. Yeah. You just yeah. buy it. Yeah. 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 So for example, like for example, this let's say I have this one. I want to sh I want to transfer. So I can just send. I wouldn't put confirm because yeah, but mm -hmm. anyway, I can just press this and then it will go to my mm -hmm. uh here. It will enter here, but you see the sneaker at the bottom? Yeah, I just put a plus one and if I click on it, then you can send to another person's wallet. Oh, so now you guys know how much balance I have. So anyway, yeah, so this is the balance I have. Uh in case if I want to keep on minting, I need to make sure I have enough uh money in it. So as I calculated, it's about 12 Solana. So right now I have 14. So it's more than enough for me to mean. So what I'll do is just, mm, I just trade this, I change to Solana. Then I make sure that I need about 80 GST, which is about, five, I think. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Oh. So each time, each time I want to mean, I will trade 5.5 Solana to change it to uh, 80 GST. So then GMT after that, the tokens that you earn, or is it GMT that's the tokens that you earn? Uh, the one that we earn is AT, is GST. So this also you can earn from yours. So if you have some balance, you can just minus accordingly. But what, what I'm trying to say is that when you mean, 
you need 5.5 Solana to get 80 GST. Yeah. So that from GST, it will cost 5.5 Solana. And for GMT, you need 120, right? So we have about, I think, five. Yeah. So, so in a way, what you need to have is make sure you have enough uh, Solana in, which means about five Solana for 120 GMT or 5.5 Solana for about 80 GST, which means a total of 10.5. So what you need is this 10.5 G uh, Solana just to keep cycling the minting process. So, uh, is it possible to, like, say, for example, I've invested my all my money in three sneakers. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I need to be pumping more money in order to uh, mm -hmm. generate? It depends. It depends. I can get it from this itself. It, I can give it depends on. It depends on how greedy you are. Because, because uh, <laughs> for me, I just see this as a float. <laughs> so I don't see this as I'm putting money in the ecosystem. Because I. I just need to have this extra money. So the moment I mean, I can immediately sell and I get back my money, you see. So I don't see that as adding money into the ecosystem. It's just, I'm just using it to earn the profit. No. Is, that, is, is, that what you're trying, is that what you're trying to ask? But of course, uh, I think for some people, if let's say they are short of this about 10.5 or 11, so now you can go ahead and earn, uh, let me just see how much it is. You can just go ahead at about, yeah, you can just go ahead and earn about 150 uh, GST. Once you have this amount, then you can probably convert it to GMT and then you can start the meeting process. Yeah. Can I send you Sol now and you buy a sneaker for me? See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so technically I could mean one and have an extra sticker, but I keep this just for the minting process. So eventually when I hit 20 or 22 Solana, I can add one more sneaker to my account now. I just have a quick, 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 quick question. Okay, so mm -hmm. in attribute, as I can see, there is a plus points 20 in bracket, right? So I also oh, yeah. got this points, but I don't know how exactly we get this point. So can you please explain that? Oh. Okay, so the thing is at level zero, you have no points. At each level, when you move from level zero to level one, you get four points. Mm. So now, for example, here I'm at level five. I should have four no. times five, which is 20 points. I, I, Eddie, uh, I, I, your, your voice got lost. So can you please uh, repeat it again? Sorry. So for example, from level zero to level one, mm -hmm. I level up by one. Each time yeah. I level up by one, I will get four points. Yeah. Okay. So okay. means from level zero to level five, okay. I'll have five yeah. times four points, which is 20. So in this case, okay. I can choose to level up whichever one. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the, okay. So the I also level up, but I didn't get points. You level up, but you didn't get points. Can't be. You should have. <laughs> What's the level right now, Sujo? So, uh, so in, in every time we level up, we get the points, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah so I every get, sneaker will get four points or it is different for runner and different for jogger? It's the same. Okay, so the thing about points of leveling up for common sneaker, each level you get four points. So mm. just now you see the uncommon. So for uncommon, you get plus six. Uh, rare got plus is plus eight and, and so on and so forth. So it means okay. that at higher level sneaker, you can technically for each level you get even more points. So that's the mm. plus side of them of the other sneakers. Mm. Okay, but, okay. Got it. Thank you so much. Later, these points can be used to make your efficiency better. Efficiency, correct. So, comfort, or resilience. Anything. Correct, correct, correct. So if you see at my sneaker now, I'm at level 19. I didn't go to level 20 because the cost is too high. And I just want to make money from level 19. And I make the other side of the money from keep on minting, keep on minting each sneaker. and make about one to two Solana per min. So this is my uh, jogger sneaker. I still haven't changed to my other one because the other one is still at level 9. I'm waiting for it to level 19. Then I'll use that as my to replace this. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, is it possible that you are you are in level 19 and you're continuing the jogging, but uh, yeah. there is no tearing or no, no damage, no repairing that you need to do because you're on the same level? Not really, because at level 19, 
each time you run, you always need to repair. <laughs> just that my level 100 is just that I've repaired it beforehand. Also, oh, before oh, every get... run, the repair has to be done, you mean to say? Mm, it depends on how you want. It's just that after every run, then your durability will drop. So, which means that you, your, your durability will keep on dropping until I think about less than 50. Mm -hmm. If it's less, yeah. So, Wait. so to answer the question, it's uh, every run you finish before oh, yeah. you level up, you need to repair. So, the earning that you have over here, you got a mm. minus of your repair. That is why if you have one sneakers versus you have three sneakers, your, your fixed cost of repair and leveling up is the same. So the difference is your earning. That's why it will be very slow. And just now back to the question that uh, Suja was, was asking, that what should you do with your, with your level point. and the point which to add? So Suja, are you still here, Suja? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Can you tell me what's your level? I mean, I can show everyone. Yeah, sure, sure, for sure. Let me check. Uh, my uh, right now my shoes is upgrading, so right now I'm in eighth level. Level eight. Okay. So let's say for example you go to level nine and you got how many sneakers? Uh, one sneaker. Okay. So that means two energy. So uh, can you see what's your base right now? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me check my base. So my base is on efficiency is three point nine. 3.9 luck is 8.4 8.4 comfort is 4.1 4.1 resilience is 3.2 3.2 yeah. so it's total 0 point for you right now uh, yeah, yeah uh my full uh is like i have leveled it up so okay. it's like uh, my efficiency is 27.9. 27.9. Uh, luck is same 8.4. Okay. Comfort is 4.1. Okay. Resilience is 11.2. 11.2. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. so guys, this is uh, things. So this uh, simulator is actually by Stepan. So uh, you can actually check whether when you level 8 to level 9, what is the amount that you should add on because you actually go by GST optimized and you can also check how much are you able to earn. So this is your simulator to check how much you want to earn and this is how it goes. So Suja, this is very important that you will know that all oh, these four points mm. should be add on efficiency. So do you do this? Mm. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, yeah. I, I will improve my efficiency. Yeah, so every time when you go, it, it might change. They might ask you to add resilience and all this. So uh, this is uh, an example that you can take into consideration. So this is how I check on mm -hmm. my leveling up. Yeah. And the earning, okay. how much I want Thank to Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, this so is very anyway, important. Yeah. Anyway, just for a rough estimate, it's usually the ratio of efficiency to resilience is about four to four or five is to one, which means that for every time you upgrade your efficiency by four, your resilience will be about one. So it's about four is to one ratio. Somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So if you are okay. putting efficiency two and resilience two, you are you are far off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you so much. So what should be done with the points? Efficiency should be increased or the resilience? So in this case, 4.1. Uh, yeah, for now it's 4.0. So if can we can just switch to target level 19. Yeah. So then you just uh so you see eventually at level 19, he should have 40 efficiency and only four resilience. So right now his focus should be 10 is to one. <laughs> he need to level up his efficiency even more to get to 10 to that 40 and 4. So another thing to add on, right, if you have runner and the main uh, so-called corona, so back to over here that um, if you have this jogger and you have this uh, runner, remember this is act as a offer energy. So when level five, you don't even bother to add the point over here, guys, take note. Because the function here, there's only two things. Minting, aka breathing, that's it. So the level point, you don't even bother. 
and don't have to repair and all these things. Only level up until five full stop and you mean and breathe. So this jogger is the main thing that we are talking about that you got to repair before you level up. And after that, uh, you know, the stats, all these things, you need to uh, do all these things. So this is the only one that you're managing. I hope that's clarified. Great explanation. So whatever things is here, uh, the PDF I already sent over here. So if you all still miss out what, can just uh, message me or what, then I will send you all. If not, I will just post on my social and you all can check. So everything that we cover is here. If still not sure, and I'm sure that sure not sure, and even though how smart you are, you show me out. So uh, there's a Telegram group that we are inside. You can always throw your question. If you have time, we will try to answer. And yeah, that's about it. So because why I'm very confirmed, because there's a very, very extremely smart guy that I share with him. So he still buy the wrong thing when I tell him, jogger, runner, then he buy runner at two min, even though I'm giving the whole PDF. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, Adi, were you able to buy a sneaker? I mean, did you get a good sneaker at a good price? Yeah. So the thing is, when I was starting, when I was started out, because I feel like at that point of time, not many people know how to choose a sneaker. So at that point of time, at floor price, there's a lot of good sneakers that are out there. So for example, like the one that I shared with you just now, I think, um, let me just see where... That's my, yeah. Like the sneaker that I have now is eight, efficiency of 8.5, luck at 8.8, .8, comfort at 1.7, and resilience at 5.3. This is my previous sneaker that is already at level 19. And that I thought at that point of time was good enough until I get this new sneaker, the one that you can see on the mm. that can shirt. So that will be my main sneaker. So I'm actually facing into this sneaker because of the higher stats. Really yeah. good, man. So, I mean, breathing is very important. So, whatever yeah. things that we see over here, um, yeah. guys, I think it's, it's really worth to check this yeah. out. That so, if you see the earning over here, right? 793. So, within 45 days. But in fact, during this period of time, you're able to breed your own sneakers. You can mm. sell it or expand your team. So, this is correct. Yeah. Okay. And, and this doesn't include your minting profit. So, uh, Ken, can you show do the, just now my sneaker? The, the one, the high stack sneaker? Okay, so for example, if, yeah, for example, for this one, uh, my plan is I want to use it, but if let's say somehow I don't want to use it, you, you remember that when minting, it costs maybe about 11 or 10 soul, right? So if mm -hmm. I happen to mint this and I somehow mint, just mint it, keep on minting, I get to mint two, then I want to sell it. For sure, I, I won't sell this for floor price at 15. I'll sell this for maybe 18, 19, or even 20. And that means that I have even a bigger profit, you see? So by starting the runner and runner, in the worst case scenario, is still one or two Solana per min. But the, my best case scenario is actually when you mean a common and a common, you have a 3% chance of getting an uncommon shoe. And that's about 40 Solana. For me, I've minted about 20, 30 times. I still couldn't get it couldn't get that uncommon shoe. But if let's say I somehow get that 3% chance of getting an uncommon shoe, can you imagine the profit for about 50, 60 Solana minus 10, 11 Solana? Oh yeah, and I think Ken also did mention about, I have twins. So what happened also at, I think two or three weeks ago, they have this like double chance of uh, minting, double chance of getting a twin. So during that time when I was minting, it was it cost about 10 Solana and the floor price was about 13. So the profit was just about one Solana per min. But what happened during that point of time, I get a twin, which means that I get two common sneaker. Two, sorry, two sneaker. So actually, if I calculate the total cost of the two sneaker is about 24 Solana. 26. So yeah. instead, instead of instead, yeah, 24 to 26. So uh my minting cost is only 11 but my output is 26 so instead of earning one to two solana i actually earn about 15 solana so that's also how i keep on uh scaling up and i think ken was wrong he tell he was saying that i started two months ago oh, no i didn't start two months ago i st i started one month ago so i oh, in just one okay. month so yeah sick. it's just so sick <laughs> <It's> just, damn <laughs> 
So it's just one month and about five days or so. So in oh, just oh, one oh. month, I managed to accumulate from uh five. Because when I started out, my I put in about six k. So I after six k, I pull out my capital and I managed to scale up up to thirty k of pure profits. Wow. You're amazing, Adi. You're amazing. I, I guess I was lucky also because the 30k is also because when I first got in, the, it was about 10, 10 to 11 Solana. But I think now the floor price is about 15. So that's about 50% up just because of the value of the sneaker now. So I guess if you guys join in and when the sneaker price go up to 18 or 19, eventually your valuation will also go up as well. So I guess... Yeah, that's actually the third, <laughs> the third, uh, how to say, your earning, the value of your sneakers will actually go up in the long run. But I'm not hoping for the sneaker price to go up that much, but just it's a good, it's a good thing for me, I guess, that the sneaker price go up that much. Adi, do you think that these flow prices would come down in a few days or something like that? Or it will only mm, go up? Eventually, if it goes down, I don't care actually. Even if it go down to zero or one, I, I, I did tell Ken before that if it go down to zero or one, I don't care. As long but as we my guest, but we care. No, <laughs> we the thing is, oh, no, for me, I don't, for, because my main concern is actually the daily earn. Because even if it goes down to, let's say, $1, but if my earning is still at this current rate of uh, 1750 per day, who cares? That's the amount that I care, <laughs> which means one month of 22000 So that's, I guess, for me, that's the idea. Uh, but if that's about the value. 750 is also dependent on the GST, right? If the Solana, correct, if correct, the NFT correct, price correct, goes down, the correct. GST will also go down. Yeah, so so that's, that's the thing that I want you guys to focus on. Don't focus on the sneaker value too much, but focus on the GST. Because this is actually a move to earn. So focus more on the, because I understand that most people, their understanding of NFT is that, oh, you want to get buy this NFT and then sell it for a higher price for a profit. So mm-hmm. what I like about step N is, it's more focused on the move to earn, the daily earning that you run and then you earn. Uh, so that is actually, for me, I'm focusing more on that. So if the sneaker price go down or up, I'm not too concerned about that. But as long as I've, I've, I've broken even and that I have a daily earning from the NFTs, if my sneaker price go up, it's just a good bonus. Because I don't think I'm going to sell my sneaker anytime soon. So, so eventually, I don't think you guys want to sell your sneaker for profit if you're earning a daily, a high daily income, right? <laughs> so for me, it's just paper value. Yeah. So now, you mean to say that it's not, oh, sorry, can go ahead, sorry. Oh, no. So there's different, there's a lot of variation. So uh, everyone will have their own style. This is not like a perfect, but at least we know a few things that is like 19 level is the ultimate goal that we go. Mm. Just like you see, if you go level 28, you earn even lesser. So Adi already filtered all the things for us already. And subsequently, yeah. it's like whether you want to breed and sell. Like I mentioned, mm. if you have zero mean, you mean until two times. Because look at the chart over here that you can see that the more you mean, this one have something new. Adi maybe can share. You see, the more that you mean, the cost is more expensive. If you buy from the floor, it might be cheaper than you mean. So mm. that's the difference. So always the perfect mean should be around uh, two me, if you can see here. Yeah, zero so and one. Have, yeah, yeah, two so, or one. So if you, you can for now we just, uh, yeah. So that's for now it's, uh, it's, it's actually the same thing, just that this one is uh, based on this chart, is 200 and 200. So just assume, let's keep it at the total of GMT and GST is 200. So the focus, the main focus that we're, I'm trying to share is that at min zero and min one, the cost of minting is 200. Now will be 80 GST and 120 GMT. But the moment you want to mint a level two, it goes to 300, which means that it's 50% more. Instead of your minting cost at about 10 or 11, it will be now be 15 or 16. But if you want to sell at floor price at about 15, you're not making a profit. So that's why we don't bother minting up to level, uh, up to min three. Oh. We are just focusing from zero and one. And that's where you can profit from each minting process. Uh, so uh, uh, I have a question like if I buy it, if I buy one more just I have one sneaker right now I will buy one more uh, runner uh, sneaker so will mm. my uh, earning increase because my energy will be same right in just two sneakers mm. correct but what's your mean sneaker mean is it mean zero uh, or mean uh, my, it's one minute oh it's one minute yeah oh 
You're lucky then. <laughs> okay, so what happened? But the thing is, if you have a min one sneaker, it's good because mm. you can just get another, for example, runner, but it's a jogger, right? So, uh, uh, yeah. How we, yeah, so if I were you, I just, maybe I just get a, uh, you just try to find a min zero, nah, uh, min, hold on, it's jogger. Yeah, so you just get a runner. So what it can mm. happen is this, is just that you min your, Min one jogger to a min zero runner, and mm. then you can start off. Even if the let's say the next one is a runner, so be it. At least your jogger from min one will become a min two, and mm. your the new runner that you have is from min zero will become min one, and you have a mm. new min which is a min mm. zero. So which means actually mm. you can start the minting process, which is of one zero one zero continuously mm. already. Yeah, but uh, earning will not increase, right? Because energy is just two right now. Correct, correct. So which means that even when after you want, buying. so even after buy, ah, yeah, correct. So when you buy that sneaker, it will not increase. You will need to wait to mean the extra sneaker. Mm. Then you can start have the three energy, and then you can slowly mm. save up for to start the minting process. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So got for, it, got it. Thank you. Yeah, so for Sujao case, uh, Yashika, maybe you can take note also. So it doesn't mean that you start out with three because not everyone have that kind of funds. Mm. So you can buy two. So this you buy two, you can min mm. these two as well. But over here is still at zero min. Any stacks on runner and your jogger can min to this and you can have another one. If not, you know, mm. in, in our own group, our meta purse. You know, everyone can just chip in like or three, then somebody go and represent and do them. Is it actually move. possible? Like, you know, like, so for example, I get few people to put in the money and then uh, we all buy sneakers together and I run on everyone's behalf. <laughs> yeah, it's something like maybe Suja is using can just chip in on him because he's still running and he one that your earning is like double up. So it's like super fast. When I start, I also try to make babies with my another friend. So after that, mm. I, I just lucky somebody passed me the money. It's like, okay, let's all in, man. We need more friends of Ken. Mm. Yeah. At least get someone that you can trust. Even, even if the transfer fee is about 5 GST, eventually, what you want is to start with a three sneaker for your own account. And then eventually, you can have a three with another account, one, then three, three, or and so on, and, so on, and you can slowly make even more. Yeah. So, so the idea is that yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so the idea is that even if let's say you start out with a capital, right? You put in whatever amount that you have. So even when you keep increasing the, for example, three account on one and another three account on one, you still haven't break even the capital. It's okay. So as long as you the moment you have two account with your friend to have a three plus three, you can work your way out faster to get back your capital faster. Mm. Right. So I think the idea for all is that you just want to arrive first, then what happens next is pure profit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for ROI faster, your strategy, um, I mean, ROI faster and uh, starting cost efficient. The strategy would mm. be to buy two sneakers or three? And mm. which ones? Three. It's still three. the same as what Ken says. It's three, one jogger and two runner. One jogger. Yeah. And one jogger and two runner, and if you can afford it, get about another 11 or about 11 sol solana extra for the minting process. Otherwise, you need to earn from your own GST to kickstart that minting process. So technically, in total, I will say about cost of three sneaker plus 11 solana. Mm. Which will be around 50, I guess. So I have a loophole. Mm. Right? Mm. Uh, like uh, just like we can do like uh, in one app i right now have jogger okay so in uh, other phone i should just buy a runner and i should start earning from that uh, on both the phones and later when i earned enough oh, yeah. gst i should transfer, you can transfer. That, yeah yeah, to yeah that i mean and right. mint new sneakers right. so i have uh, okay so in that situation in that situation whereby somehow you can't afford I understand that it's expensive, so you can't afford two sneakers immediately. So you want to start with one and two and then eventually three, right? So in a case yeah. where you have no choice but just to start with two, then I guess it's fine to have 
one sneaker and you to share with your uh, wife or brother or sister another sneaker mm-hmm. so that you have both sneaker leveling up but which means that for the other sneaker you don't need to level up to 19 you just leave it at, at level 5 because you just want to start the minting process right so uh, mm-hmm. yeah you just leave it at level 5 and just keep earning from whatever amount you have at least that is still better than putting inside your account which only have 2 you don't get mm-hmm. that extra energy yeah, so mm-hmm. so that even, even though for the other account at level five, the GST earning is lesser. It's still better than both sneaker inside your account. Yeah. 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 Okay. That, that's okay. that's definitely makes sense. Yeah. You don't want to split into three, but however, uh, still need to take note on the what you call the the repair cost. So is correct, it? Correct. Correct. Yeah. You see, like yeah, Nissan, if you make eleven, the repair cost is still four. You see. So correct. now you yeah. only like make three or four, but it still correct, makes sense correct. if you are doing the same time. Yeah. If you are, if, the thing is, if you only are on two sneakers, because that extra sneaker basically doesn't add value to your energy. So, yeah, I think <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. To the split yeah. into two. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, just in case anybody as lazy as me, uh, don't even try to sit on a bicycle or, you know, on the car because it really don't count and, yeah, my first day, yeah. I actually do that. It's <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> uh, can we, I have just done it like two, 20 minutes uh, ago. And yeah, it counted for me. Like I have earned like 9.550 9. GST in 10 minutes. You mean you you put, you put you cycle? Yeah, I cycle, but uh, on the uh, speed limit. In the speed limit. So you are wrong. You, so also, you maximize the speed limit, right? Uh, no, no, my speed limit is like, uh, my speed limit, I, I was in the range of like 60 kilometer per 9 kilometer per, uh, per hour. Like I was in the range of jogging. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, so the thing is, if you are even in that range, the thing about the app is that they will count your steps. I'm not sure if how many steps you have, but it's supposedly they have a calculation that for a certain distance, you're supposed to have an estimate amount of steps. But if you cycle and they don't calculate your steps accordingly, you'll mm-hmm. still get the GST, but your variation will be lesser. lesser. Yeah, so it won't be highest, mm-hmm. as high as mm-hmm. possible GST that mm-hmm. you can earn. For example, like Ken, uh, when he was driving, he, he managed to get the speed, but the GST output is like, how many? It was three or four, right? So it's so little, even though he meet the speed requirement. Yeah. When when well, actually when he jo- <laughs> when actually well, when he if he jog he could earn like double or even triple that amount so totally not worth it. <laughs> I yeah. I think the earning on the first day is low but uh, as I compared it like uh, when I uh, I was walking still I I got uh, I was jogging yeah. like still then I got like ten GST and today when uh-huh. I was cycling I got like nine point fifty GST yeah. so it not, it yeah. was not a big difference yeah correct yeah it's not a big difference but it's just that. If you had job or faster, you will get that a bit more. I, so if you don't mind, if you don't mind losing that GST, go ahead and you can cycle. But for me, I'll just focus yeah. on maximizing my GST output every day. Yeah, got it. Yeah, bicycle. Uh, help. Uh, Luis. Uh, this is what Suja is doing. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe I am so particular. If I'm I lesser earn one GST, I get peace off, man. Yeah, correct, like, correct. Correct. Like, because correct. Because like shit. I'm I'm thinking if I'm earning lesser by two GST and this is at ten or eleven. Imagine when you're earning at thirty, when you are maximum at level nineteen. For example, like me at level nineteen and with three sneakers, I'm earning about thirty three GST. So by cycling, I, my output will probably be about twenty seven or twenty eight. So eventually, when you scale up, that one or two will eventually become more, and it will be it's quite painful uh, if you think about it. Five GST is about thirty US dollar. Yeah, and that's oh. every day. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Adi is really good in calculation. So, yeah, he's, yeah. My, he's my idol in the industry. Yeah. Yeah, so to me, it's daily. So, eventually, it will add up. Then you want to earn as much as possible each day. So, so any more questions? So, if yeah, not, anyone think- else? Anyone else? I think, is there anyone? I think there are still others, right? Whoever who has yet to ask. I, I just want to ask you, I, uh, this is Sajad. Uh, I want to ask you, like, you know, if you breed 
the uh, and and I meant another one. Uh, if you breed mm. uh, a jock runner and you meant another one, what type mm. of shoe get? Oh. Do you make the choosing okay. or? Okay, that, for that you can refer to the their white paper. They have actually a percentage breakdown. But from what I can remember, is just that, for example, a walker and a jogger, it's about forty five percent of a jogger and forty five percent of a walker, and the others is I think about five percent of a runner and a less percent of a trainer. So for jogger, walker, runner, they have a similar percentage ratio, which means that if I pair with a walker and a walker is about 80% chance of getting a walker and for the other each of them. It's just that the interesting part is about trainer. Trainer is so-called the best sneaker ever because uh, you can just go at any speed that you want but the problem with a trainer, if you pair a trainer and a trainer, there's a 25% chance of getting any other sneaker. So that's why getting a trainer is actually quite hard. Even if you buy two trainer, you want to pair them it's only 25% chance of getting another trainer. Yeah. So I think you guys can refer to the white paper if you guys not sure for the percentage. So that's why for me, when I meet a runner and a runner and I get a jogger, I felt so happy because the chance of that happening is actually, I think, less than 10. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Eddie. Interesting. Hmm. So uh, for the whole thing, I think that uh, so many information, I know it's very overwhelming. So the most <laughs> yeah. important over here, step by step is uh, yeah. the most, most important, I mean, Suja experienced that. You're going to buy the right one. It's yeah. very important. Because once you buy the right one, the rest is, is mm. you are not so difficult to do it with the simulator that just I show. So yeah, the rest is like uh, energy, which type of sneakers that you're getting and yeah that's that's about it uh. but but just to add on even if getting the right sneaker you need to be lucky because i feel like at this stage everyone knows how to find a good sneaker so you just instead of finding a good sneaker you may just try to get a decent sneaker because it doesn't make sense if you want to get a good sneaker okay for example like the floor price now is about 15 and Getting a good sneaker means you need to pay 20 solana. It doesn't make sense. Why should you pay 5 solana just for a good sneaker? So maybe just get a decent sneaker. If you yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. So I think uh, in order to let everyone to have a better understanding what is called decent. So uh, number one is actually you can see uh, in the like PDF. Can. Uh, this is like not perfect, but it's decent. So Adi, mm. if you got time, maybe you can share inside the telegram that which are the decent one. Because for newbie mm. like me, if I buy, I I want to have something to refer. That's why everyone like mm. want to see oh, what is called decent. So maybe you put inside, then at least they can have a refer. Mm. Because the day my friend came on looking at it, that he cannot find a good one because he tried to compare. Then after that, oh, I realized that actually okay. my resilience, reliance is actually very low. So after I say, I are then easy to find because he tried to get like yeah. six or four re re uh, okay. resilience of this. Yeah. Okay, for example, like I just share with based on Ken, right? For example, at this point, when I was choosing for Ken, at that point of time, all the floor price is so shit. I think at that point of time, it's like, how, how do I put this? Everyone know, everyone is finding new sneakers. It was just that efficiency is a bit, so one, two, one, two, and your resilience also is one, two, one, two. So you see, 6.2 and one at that point of time is actually good enough. I mean, I think I share with you just now on the marketplace also, right? It's getting like, even this is so hard. <laughs> so and Ken Ken was lucky enough that he get to buy this at the floor price. So I was telling Ken, okay, maybe your state is not so good, but you get to buy it at the lowest price possible. So actually, yeah, I think can you buy it at the cheapest price, right? Yeah, or, correct. The cheapest yeah. one that you have me choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how much did you get it, Ken? I think about 12, 12 right? Less than twelve. Yeah, I think less than, if I'm not wrong, it's around yeah. less than 12, definitely less it's than about 12. To, yeah, almost 12. Yeah, almost, almost 12. 12, yeah. yeah. That's even if you're, enough, eh. So even if you're not happy with your sneaker now, you can just sell it and get another sneaker. But yeah, it's okay. Because right now you are making a profit. But the thing is, you still need another good sneaker to keep. Yeah, the question, the problem is finding good sneakers so hard. Yeah. So, so so what we can do, I think uh, buying the right one, then uh, whether you want to team up, so I think within the Metapurse, if 
uh, whoever there's limited funds or this thing, I, I mean, I experience it. So, can I actually team up or maybe like get two and start breeding all this stuff and it should be okay. Yeah. So, for example, like, uh, when you, when there's a lot of people, a group of people keep on minting continuously and somehow maybe from a runner, you end up with a jogger with good stats. Instead of, instead of selling to the market, you can sell to each other. Instead of paying 6%, at least you can save that 6% of commission and at least someone you know close can get a good stats uh sneaker which eventually will be for the long run will be a good one yeah like initially yeah. i wanted to buy from adi then uh i'm too yeah, slow he's so just, too uh, slow so actually I, I have a better sneaker to sell but he was too slow so i have no choice i need to keep on my thing meaning process i i sold it to the market yeah do you have any more yeah i have a walker I have a walker with good stats, but I'm not sure whether you guys want a walker. <laughs> Probably, how much is it for? Yeah, I guess after minting, I'll just sell it close to floor price because I'm just using to cycle it. For example, my walker, the efficiency is at 9.8, luck at 7.9, comfort at 4, and resilience at 3. Total stats is about 23. And my efficiency and resilience total is about 12.8. It's, I feel it's just good enough. But the only problem is a walker. I can give it to my dad. If, if example, if for example, you want to sell it, of course. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right. So if you look, look at it, uh, the walker is easy to collect the point, but 4.5. Mm. So if Correct. It's like... about 25% less. I wouldn't want to go for a walker. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, when, when you guys are very good in calculation, 25% is a big amount of money. Yeah. So just take note on that. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, Walker will always be higher in demand than a runner because there are still a lot of people who just can't walk fast day or they have some issue with walking that they just can't do at fast pace. So Walker will always still be better, stronger in demand than a runner. So in terms, if I want to put it, uh, how if I want to put it, to rank them, the best would be a trainer, followed by a jogger, followed by a walker, and lastly, a runner. The runner will always be the cheapest. So a trainer will always be the best, but the only problem with it is that it's expensive. So mm. I always tell people that a jogger is like a poor man's trainer. <laughs> yeah. Because with a jogger, you can brisk walk or jog. And yeah. So for example, I buy a runner, but I am unable to hit the eight kilometer mark, for example. I am mm. able to do only five kilometers. Uh, mm. Am I maximize? Am I utilizing the full potential or my earnings are going no, to be no. So basically, when I started, I thought I could run. After that, after two days of running, I realized, no, I'm not going to do this every day. If I do this every day, I'm going to be so tired with to do whatever else I want to do. And the next part is if I scale up, it'll be tiring because about I was thinking forty five minutes each day, every day for the rest of like say one year, it'll be the money will be even worth it, but. I didn't think so. So I what, ha what happened at the point of time is I just sold away that runner for a bit of a loss. I switched over to jogger and yeah, I feel that's the best decision I ever made. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. Especially when you, I walk, I really want to drag my leg, but I look at the numbers that I have, it's like, oh shit, <laughs> kill me. Like I just go. So even though for jogger, if I walk, so if you, if you do lesser than that, like I'm so tired. Even though it's 20 minutes, wow, trust me, I really can die. If you walk, then you don't make the money while wow, you really feel like slapping yourself. So if you run, yeah. then it's also one thing that unless you can consistently like 20 minutes, mm. yeah. Mm. No, it's not about 20 minutes. It's also about the distance, right? It's also about mm. covering 8 kilometers yeah. in an hour for minimum. Correct, correct, That's correct. And, yeah, and, actually, right, and for, the, for the distance, I think not... not 100% right because I actually do uh, I just do circling also yeah it just depends it just depends on your speed for me the issue with runner that I have is that it's just that I don't feel like I can commit imagine that if one day you are not feeling well you just can't run but come on you, you don't want to miss that 30 GST of earning a day so at least even if I feel I don't feel well on that day if I, if I am sick I still feel that I can commit with a jogger I will still be able to work enough for that money yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but you always, I mean, all this while when we're asking, you're suggesting a runner and a jogger. 
then in the three sneakers, I think it should be better to have jogger and mocker in that case. Correct, correct, correct. The jogger, I feel, is the jack of all trade for all. Mm. Yeah, sure, sure, surely I compromise on that a bit extra money of from runner, but just yeah. I guess the idea is also to make sure that I can afford that I can afford to do it every day consistently. No point you get a runner, but then oh, then after you get injured or something, then you can't run for the next few days. And that's something that happened for some of the those who are doing it. They run every day until they get injured and they can't run. <laughs> so jogger will help you a lot because especially if you are not a athlete. Yeah. yeah. The good thing is that I am involved in a runner club. Yeah. So the yeah, days so I don't good, run, I give it to yeah. them. <laughs> Please run for ah, me. Okay. Yeah, Shika, you yeah. know what will happen next? If you keep on breathing and have your team after your ROI, you can have a marathon of uh, Yashika team. Everybody <laughs> hold your rent sneakers and say, what the hell are you going to learn that much? Let's, let's hope that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I think uh, ROI is ROI faster is the max and the stimulator, please use it. And if any question mm. can just uh, ask mm. and double confirm all this stuff because it's it's oh. like I mean really not really not easy to get the right one, although it's like oh. pretty straightforward. I just realized it's already 2 a.m. <laughs> oh that's why I say that yeah, yeah <laughs> just you can just talk whole day, but yeah, I think yeah. it's time to go. Yeah. So, any you. more other questions? Any last, any last questions? Yeah, I didn't even realize time flies so fast. Yeah. yeah, I tried to make it one hour, but end up like almost two. <laughs> yeah. You both last are so one, passionate. Let's take one sharing last question. Yeah, please go ahead. Anybody? Yeah, okay. if nothing, then we will just uh, wrap it up and uh, just join the Telegram if any question. Then uh, for the meta post, if you all need anything, you all can just ask me also. Yeah, that's about it, man. So, so we are going to spam coming. you, Ken. We are going to spam yeah. you and Adi. <laughs> Adi I am going to. Oh, by the way, Yashika, my, my, my heart beats just now like uh, full. I don't know why. Do you, I, I see you record also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recorded yeah, so it. Maybe you can share me record. later on. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'll upload it uh, in uh, Google Drive and share it with everyone. Thanks, man. So, yeah, I mean, I really appreciate this is so-called like my first yeah. Zoom meeting on sharing things and thanks for Adi for making yeah. this happen and everyone that's joining here. Thank I you. really Thank appreciate you. the time and I, I really yeah. get to see you guys that join here. Yeah. I have one last question, sorry. <laughs> Do you do you think the price is going to come down anytime sooner or the best time to invest is right now? Just just enter. I'll just say the best time is still yesterday. Uh, this is what I was been telling Ken. That makes me FOMO so much, Adi. Don't say that. I, I think you all know how to trade. You all can see the volume. If the GST drop, I believe that the floor price will mm. drop. So yeah, correct, I mean, if you I mean, especially this whole ecosystem that okay. I'm really impressed that what uh, Adi is doing, he's a user, he's a trader as well. So by him knowing that, okay, this is a new action, they're going to burn GMT, okay. then like you need more GMT, they're more expensive. Then we can long okay. the token all this, all right? Okay, yeah. So the thing is, at the same time, I'll just share something that those who miss this, who have already left, they might miss this important part. The, what the step in trying to do now is that they are starting to implement GMT use case. So I think if you are familiar with XC, they don't have a strong burning system, right? So mm. for what they, what Stepan trying to do is that they are trying to have a stronger burning system for GMT, which is the finite supply. So that if you want to put in comparison, they are pushing the stronger demand for it. So what I'm trying to share with you right now is they have actually 10 GMT use case. And as of now, they have only implemented two GMT use case, which is the main thing. That's how that I share with you. The 180 80 GST and 120 GMT, right? So that's the first GMT, that's the second GMT use case. And the first GMT use case is uh, leveling up level five, level 10. Uh, so actually when I was, when I went, invited Ken in, there's no, there's, you don't need a GMT to level up. So he came in late and he had to pay GMT. So that was the first GMT use case. And the second GMT use case is the maintaining process. So there is still eight more GMT use case. So 
I, all I can say is that since there are, there's eight more GMT use case, so there is still room for this, uh, what do you call it, this project to go. It's just that if you are waiting at the eight or nine, it might be a bit more risk, but as of now, we are still only at the second GMT use case. So we, there's still a, a, quite a long road ahead. So I think for every trader you can see, but I think it's it's not like the buy and sell buy and sell crypto anymore. It's like more mm. on like the use mm. case that is being used mm. and correct, being correct. utilized on correct. it. So, so that's really so, exciting me, especially yeah. when I do the video, it's 5.7. And after mm. that, when I want to edit the video, it kind like what 20 plus correct, percent correct. up is like so, shit. So the I think maybe most of you wouldn't understand what, what when I was so excited about to share about the GMT use case. First, if you Think about the GMT use case, it just means that they will burn more GMT. So when you burn more GMT, then the GMT will go up and then, yeah, the burning process will be so strong that GST will be able to sustain that high level and GMT will outpace GST. So for me, when I see that they are still at the second, I was telling Ken, I'm already long, I'm forever buying GMT, just that if I think it's going to spike, I, I switch to leverage and I can earn even more. So. Yeah, so as long as we are still at the second GMT use case, until the 10 GMT use case before GMT mining happens, it's still a long road, it's still a long road ahead. So if you want to join in now, it doesn't matter actually. So basically, don't wait, hop on. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, that's about it, man. So Thank you uh, so much. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you so much, Adi. You guys no have problem. been like, uh, you guys are awake past midnight it's two and you're still so no, it's okay. for sharing it I'm with the entire with, group so i'm grateful. done with my exam i'm so free now <laughs> so i yeah. think that let's end this and thanks uh thanks uh hamza that uh let us have the space yashika and how uh louis and everyone here thank you so much you. so we will be seeing you guys at telegram any questions just ask there then we see what we can do. So whoever don't have activation code, uh, can just send in also and see whether we have. We will just uh, yeah, share it out. Now she can also share our tips, man. Please. Perfect. So I, I, will, I will. I will. I will put it in the group. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that's all. Thank you so much and good night, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Hey, have a good rest. Good hey. night.